Is there a fan blowing on? Uh, check the band behind below. There's a fan blowing on the mic somewhere. What's up? What's up, everybody? It's a nice guy in the podcast. You know what we do? We talk to wrestlers around here. So tonight, tonight we got a special guest from OVW up in Louisville, guys. The world famous OVW that's on Netflix. Uh, the wrestlers. Is it called? The, it's called wrestlers, right? The show yep. on there. Wrestlers on Netflix. Wrestlers on Netflix. Uh, we got uh, Jebediah Blackhawk. Yes, sir. Thank you. And Jay De Niro. De Niro in the house. Okay. Oh, this is this is exciting, guys. I, you know, uh, I I I um I can't believe I got you guys in here. I mean, you're you're going to be in the main event here on was it November the sixth? November second. November second. Oh, that's even Saturday. It's Saturday. This Saturday night. Oh my God! You're going to be in the main event, a four way. And not only that, but Haley J is going to be in Richmond, Kentucky, for the Richmond Toy Show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we got you here. You're going to be in the main event. And like, how did like how did we pull these strings? I don't know. What's up, man? Make that phone call. We're here. I know, right? We just asked, and you guys were like, yeah, we'll come on. It was like, cool. That's cool as hell. What have you guys been up to? Well, Andy, I'm glad you asked, fella. I, I got to ask you a question. Ask me a the question. first time we met, you you like to go fishing. Uh, not, no. I not, do. You like fishing? Johnny likes fishing. Yeah, I'm not a fisher. Yeah, well, I got kind of a sad story out of it. I was fishing the other day out there uh Haddox Creek, yeah. and uh, this old fella out there. Is that in Louisville? Pitched. No, sir. That's outside of Pikeville. Okay. Yep. Collar. This uh, feller's out there pitching his line, older feller, and I walked up, started talking to him. I said, uh, hey, buddy, how's it going? He says, well, not so good. He said, I lost my wife of 50 years not too long ago. And I said, just, you know, I'm a good feller, so I started listening on him, you know. He says, well, he said, uh, we was trying to get all the affairs in order there. Towards the end, he goes, in 50 years we've been married, there's this shoebox that sits up in the top of the closet. I was never allowed to go in it. Yep. I said, all right. He goes, well, I pulled that shoebox down. I opened it up. He said, there's about $10,000 cash and two dolls in that box. And he says, so I went into my wife. I said, honey, I got to know what this is about. She goes, well, on the day we was married, baby, my grandmama told me every time you have a big fight with your husband, you make you one of these handmade dolls. And he said, oh, that's fantastic. He says, you're telling me in 50 years of marriage we ain't had but two big fights. Man, bless your heart. I love you, honey. She goes, I love you too, baby. She goes, I got to know what that $10,000 cash is about. She goes, selling off all the dolls. (laughs) (laughs) She had a yard sale. (laughs) That's a lot of dolls there. Well, that was a lot of dolls. But thanks for having having us out there. No, thank Andy. you for coming. Man, golly, man, it's been been watching you for a long time. You got a lot of a lot of good fellers on, doing their thing, and I'm so happy for you to ring the ring the phone for me and Jay De Niro to come down. You know, you was talking about that main event uh, OVW this Saturday night. We're going to do the reckoning. It's got yep. a seven o'clock bell time. You can get your tickets or uh, online. Go to ovwtix.com. You can always visit the OVW website. It'll send you wherever you need to be. But in that main event, the fella sitting across from me, and I'm going to tell you, this guy here, he hits like a ton of bricks, and he kisses like a beautiful woman. <laughs> but Jay De Niro has got his hands full this Saturday night. Main event time for Jay De Niro, the hand of Tony Evans. And y'all know Tony Evans. He's oh, you do? Golly, yep. man, he's one of my favorites. If anybody's got it in professional wrestling, Tony Evans. Yep. Young comer there. Um, and his boss. And, and that is Jay De Niro's boss. Now, also in this match is Will Austin. Will Austin's a young comer. He's uh, got all the tools, all the talent, and the right attitude. We recently attitude. saw him as well inside the rush division. That's right. That's right. He's got big aspirations, titles uh, titles in his future. And on the other side of the ring as well, old EC3. And you fellas know that's the NWA heavyweight champion, yep. EC3. That ain't no night at the... Uh, Night at the theater. That's a real night for a fight. So uh, let me ask you a question, Dave De Niro. How are you going to handle that situation, big feller? I'm just going to do what I do best. You know, you, your name gets on my list. You're in the dirt. That's exactly. strong words. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I ain't on is your that, list, feller. <laughs> so it's a $10,000 like winning purse, right, and, and the title. Yeah, Doug Basham put a 10000 bounty. Wow. $10,000 bounty on EC3's head. So, okay. That's smart. Yeah. It comes to money. Yeah. That's what I'm all about. Uh, that's what, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You're going after that money. 
And it don't it don't even matter if Tony Evans is your boss, you'll go to him too, because that money's a lot of money. Well, you know, at OVW, I I came in OVW and uh, basically I'm just a hitman for hire. So wherever that money is, that's where I'm going. So if Tony Evans gets in my way, I got to do what I got to do. Exactly, because exactly. yeah. a lot of money is worth everything to a hitman. Yes, sir. How you feel about Doug? Well, Mr. He, Basham is uh, Mr. Basham, you know. Yeah, he's going to be your best friend if he gets that $10,000 in your pocket, huh? $10,000 or $10,000. I know. But, ain't uh, that, that's true, man. I, I might want to enter that uh, contest myself because I you could use $10,000 around here on the podcast. I'm <laughs> not a huge fan of the group he runs around with. Me and Tony Evans have been on the wrong end of the stick with those guys. But yep. Yeah, he's got a tough crew there, don't he? I mean that whole that whole OVW, you guys up that you're packed full of uh, stars up there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned Doug Basham's group there, the Revolution. Y'all been keeping up with that? Oh, yep. As I much as we been. can. Yeah. We try to cover all local wrestling and and OVW as well. And we'd love to get up there more, but we don't. You know. We, DJ uh, DJ Easy just said, "Oh hell, later, Daddy Doug." Mm, leather daddy Doug. there is no safe word yeah <laughs> right yeah he shows up wearing that leather leather vest and that leather jacket and them leather pants and i don't i think he probably smells like the inside of darth vader's helmet you know he used to be a cool guy and then something happened just down the road he it's like he flipped, uh, flipped the switch well as i understand it man that he's he's got this this in his head about how he's got this 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 tie to OVW because of his uncle Danny. You know, yep. he's Danny Davis's first uh first first student. Yep. And by far Doug Basham, there's only you know, he's probably one of the best ones that ever come out of OVW and that's all the names you know yep. that train there. Yep. Doug's one of the best, right? Yeah. And um he, he just feels like he, he talks about it being his birthright. And he's pulled this all this this foolishness trying to get it off of Al Snow, and uh, he formed a revolution. I'm going to tell you, this revolution ain't no joke. Uh, he went and got some of the biggest dogs in the yard to fight his fights for him. And yep. these guys, man, he pulled them from all over. I mean, there's a uh, women's champion, right? Um, that's J-Rod. J-Rod yep. is, uh, she go about 6'1", about yep. 195. She just made out of solid steel. Uh, she'd been doing some business on the West Coast, and she just showed up in Louisville and just dom started dominating the women's division. Uh, OVW had big pay-per-view there in Pikeville a month or so ago, and uh, she had an all-out war with Dream Girl Ellie out there. They did it uh, uh, extreme way. I heard y'all filled the house down there. Oh, it was a, it was sold out, feller. Now it was uh, it's OVW's first big. Big time pay per view yeah. going remote. We do pay per views at home, and we'll draw four or five hundred people at home. Yeah, but they were looking to fill, you know, Gun uh, Appalachia Arena out there. It's over four thousand seats, and we got pretty dead gum close. Close, yeah. It was a yeah. proud moment for the company because it, you know, I, I, I posted on the internet. I was like, you know, I've been watching OBW my whole life. Started out there, and uh, watching it, uh, it's like watching it graduate from college. Being a part of the production team there, watching that do. Yeah, what it did and just really just blew the roof off the place. A lot of a lot of guys came in and saw and were really impressed. Kevin Nash was there, hell yeah, yeah. Uh, and he had nothing but good things to say. Of course, he does his podcast as well, and he put over to OVW and his experience kind of smashed Appalachia a little bit. Talking about that two lane getting to the arena, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I don't know who puts a four thousand seat arena in the middle of Pikeville, but they did it. Yeah, they did. Yeah, and yeah. I was happy to be a part of it. It was yeah. good. Pikeville, great town, good people. That young lady at Applebee's just listened to me talk during the dinner at one night. She was about as about as sweet as she could be. I'm a rattling. Y'all go on ahead. No, hey, go ahead. Uh, Don't keep it talking. The DJ Easy said just said he said, "Hey, Jay Nero, see the light. Drop Tony Evans. Join the revolution. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, money talks, right? Yes, That's sir. right. Money talks." I mean, if Doug Basham has that ten thousand, I have to say right that he ain't got more where that comes from. Yeah, you better hope his check don't bounce, fella. And you go through all that and beat all them fellers up, and you <laughs> got a blank check or it ain't got no signature no, on it. Break, uh, no, no, cash, cash. cash yeah, Ooh. he's gonna have a, he's gonna have to have a, a suitcase full of cash. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Because 
if he wants this man on his side, he's going to have to have a whole lot of that where's cash this, on hand. Where's this pay-per-view going to be up? In, in Louisville? At, yeah, at, at the, the Davis Arena. At the Davis Arena. Okay, yes, yeah. Guys, get up this there to the Davis thing. Arena this Saturday. Uh, um, tickets are on sale. I'm sure you can sell, you know, get tickets at the door too, right? That's right. That's yeah. Right. You get them, get them online there, ovtix.com, or you can come up there. Now, it's a pay-per-view, so it, it may, you better check the website because it might be sold out by now. That's yeah. right. Pay-per-views. At OVW Davis is hot. Yeah, we OVW sell out. is hot. It, it really is. Uh, if you if you can't get tickets. And it's the new renovated. Y'all just are re- renovated the, uh, the, the arena. Arena, That's right. right? That's right. We can put about 450, 500 people in there if they sit on laps. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they do. They sit on laps. Yeah. I, yeah. I see some of y'all's fans want to sit on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. I'm going past them. <laughs> but, but you know, OEW has really perked up since the wrestlers' release on Netflix. You've you've been running hot. Like there's no one right now that matches what y'all been doing at OBW. I mean, look at this. We got this man right here in the main event. Bell Four Way. Two thousand dollars. A lot of money to talk about. Yeah, I mean it's it's just blew up from like you know. Back in the day, the OVW was was a popular, uh, you know, a big name, and then you know it kind of faded down. But wrestling in general is huge right now. So, and uh, I'm just glad that OVW is being uh, recognized by just about everybody now. As it should be. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you know, it should be up right up there with the GCW and all those guys too. You know, uh, close. You know, with compared to WWE and you know AEW, you know um, TNA, you know a lot of props to Al Snow as well because Al Snow has really stepped up his game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The creative over there is great, and then when you go there, um, you know you, you're there in the arena, and it's just it's a comfortable arena. Like there's not a bad seat in the whole place. No, no, it's not that big. Like I said, you got 450, 500 people sitting on each other's laps. Yeah, that's right. It's, but not and the way the the way the arena's set up, and you got the uh, you know you got the you know you you got the uh, the ring down there, and and you got you got great seats in yeah, there. We the got place to is be a part of it. The place is designed like really good. I, I don't know who designed it like that, but like there's great. You guys, if you go to this pay per view or go down to Davis Arena and see OVW. In general, on a on a you know y'all go every Thursday night, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We do a TV taping down there, every, and we do, we got to start this whole podcast over, feller, because we've been saying it wrong the whole time. It's no longer. It's now it's Hot Point, Davis Arena. Hot Point. Oh, Hot major, Point. Uh, hot okay. Point. That's a major sponsor. Yeah, it is a major yeah. sponsor. Uh, uh, that's a that's the biggest sponsor. So they put their name there on the Davis Hot Points. Uh, uh, Davis Arena. Hot Point's an international company, right? That's right. They Hell make the, yeah. They make the dryers and the ovens and the stoves. They they need a new line of washboards so we can get them down there in the holler. But yeah. they, they do make some mighty fine appliances at Hot Point. And they are the big, they're the big sponsor. They were nice enough uh, to come in and they uh, uh, redid all the HVAC for us. Okay. So now, you know, in the summertime, it is a balmy 70 degrees in there, you know, all summer long. And uh, in the winter, it's going to be a balmy seventy degrees. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you know, it's 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 grown in leaps and bounds production wise, but also the facilities themselves. That's a big so, deal yeah, because oh, getting gosh. getting some good air conditioning in a place like that, and and being uh, having the having comfort of the you guys got a great uh, concession stand. Mm-hmm. Uh, y'all sell the merch right up there in the front. You can get a t shirt. You can get stickers of all your favorite wrestlers right there in front. Get some uh, local. I think y'all sell local pizza right there, and then That's a good pizza too. Then you get a great seat in there. Now you got air conditioning in that place. There's no reason not to go up to OVW and watch wrestling, especially for the pay per view. That's it's up. not. I mean, around here, Lexington, it's not far. I mean, Lexington's like an hour away. Nope. Um, you know, uh, it, it's not that. You know, if you're in Kentucky, take a visit up to. Uh, uh, Davis Arena to see OVW on a, on a Thursday night or a pay per view night. That's right. Get up there, check us out, uh, doing that live TV every Thursday night. Matter of fact, we got one tomorrow. Going yeah. to do uh, hell yeah. Going to do Halloween Hell Night. Um, that's going to be one of those, those revolution. Doug Basham's are running the general manager position, so he's in you know he's in charge of what the yeah. shows look like. Um, he's got the Hell Night there. They got the uh, the wheel of uh, wheel spin of, the wheel, spin the wheel. wheel. And uh, it's so the matches that they got lined out for tomorrow, you know, guys will get in there not knowing who their opponents are. They'll spin the wheel, and they'll have a uh, 
tell you what kind of stipulation is right there. And if you really want to know, you know, you're not going to know what your stipulation is until you're in the ring. Exactly. So that's kind of, a, you know, it's kind of spooky if you're a wrestler because, you yeah. know, you, he knows who he wants to put in the ring, but he's yep. going to let the wheel spin against who you got to fight. You never know who you're going to draw. And you so never know J- what match you're going to Jay De Niro's place. gearing up for a big old fight on, on Saturday night against, he's got, he knows who he's going to fight, but by golly, he may get his name spun on the wheel and end up in there with a cash flow or a, a, AJZ or you know whoever the heck else it happens to be Will Austin you may see Will Austin on yep. Thursday you never know and also the stipulation yeah so don't do added. not do not miss this if you can get up there this Thursday too uh, uh Davis Arena go up there but you you guys uh where do y'all go live at on uh, on on Thursday nights so they run a YouTube TV that's a live feed you got local yep. local out of uh, the channel escapes me. And um, so it's live on YouTube. Oh, it's live. Okay, it's live to TV. Guys, live uh, on YouTube. Yeah, it's one of the only live television shows other than the Monday Night Raw. Yeah, um, they shoot it live, and it goes straight to feed from what we. So what you see is what you get on television, and the chance to edit it is not going to happen. So yeah. Yeah, that's one of the good things about yeah, OVW is live TV, and it's been going on for a long time. Yeah. The only other companies that do that is AEW and WWE. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. We, exactly. We go live every every time we go. That's <laughs> all we do is live. <laughs> Uh, we never edit anything. We just go live, say whatever we want to. Part of like, Cam had something for you, Jeb. He said, good to see you, Jeb, die. Yes, sir. Wish Cam. I was there, but I don't go brush with that loser, Andy. Oh. Yeah, well, you you know, you got beat up in the hallway, so, you know, who's a loser? He, he did get super kicked. Has he ever won a match? I don't think he's ever won a match, has he? One? Oh, he's won one match. One match, yeah. As I recall. He's won in what, 30? One in probably 20. Yeah, yeah. Well, fellas, don't knock him because I'm living proof. You ain't got to go over. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <You ain't gotta laughs> no, party man's pretty over, really, around hey. here. He really, he really is. When, Everybody he start, loves when he started start messing with us, he started realizing, I got to take this serious. Hey, party, uh, hey, one if you can make it over here, I think I can come up with a couple bucks and then uh, you can meet uh, Jay De Niro. Yeah, party man camp, come on. Meet the old left right, if you know what I mean, and. The right hand, Jaden Nero. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like a, he like a look. Thousand? I don't think it would. It wouldn't take that. Nah. Man, go, yeah, yeah. I can be reasonable. Yeah, good. Tw- you know, nice twenty or so. You know, yeah, you might pop. <laughs> uh, we got James Kendrick in here. He said it was a lucky win. Man, um, about sometimes we have sometimes we have hallway matches around here. We've had a. We've had what five or six hallway matches. Yep, people wrestling in the hallway. Icon and Lee each had, other. had two of them. He had one where he beat the hell yeah. out of this guy named Icon and Lee, the Demon. Yeah, Icon Lee is our champion. Uh, he, he's got the podcast championship, and he's won it in the ring. You know and that that championship belt, the one right there in front of you, is the first belt, and it was uh, uh, defended Zodiac. defended twenty six times by Zodiac. Uh, a local uh, wrestler, Zodiac, uh, 26 times defense, and, and then Adrian Alexander won it, and then uh, Icon Lee uh, won it from uh, Adrian Alexander. You know, uh, Andy, I'm glad you brought up Zodi. Yeah. You know uh, Zodi? I do know Zodi. In fact, I brought a gift for you. Okay. This is a copy of The First Harvest. Oh, nice. you're, y'all are in that movie together. Oh, I love that. It's a film by Paul Allen. This is his first adventure into directing a uh, Real motion picture on DVD. That's a heck, real deal. Heck yeah. And uh, your friend Zodi was in there. Yeah. And also your friend Jebediah Blackhawk That's was in right. There. Hell yeah. And um, That's awesome, So man. I brought you a copy of the first wow. Harvest. And if, if you want to open that up, you can have us all sign can, it later on yeah, down yeah. the road. That's right. Yeah. But yeah, it's a. I it's, want you to sign it tonight. Yeah, oh, you got it. You got it. That's a. It's a fun to watch. It's a, not a horror movie, even though it's almost Halloween. Fella, it's a love story. Yep. And um, no, it's a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a love story, you know. Well, if it's movie. got if it's got Zodiac and Jebediah Blackhawk in it, you know it's scary. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Zodiac's a he's a maniac, man. I mean, twenty he, years. He comes to the ring and business. he's got fire in his hand when he comes to the ring, man. He's a he's. Recently, it I was, saw him throw the fire at Tony Crow, another veteran of the sport. He got he, the flame right inside the face. He uh, he won our belt. He beat nine people in the ring uh, to win that to win our first, to win the belt the first time. So yeah, he's a monster. But guess what? Icon Lee is now the longest reigning 
Nice guy, ain't he? Podcast champion. Two I time. did the math. Two time. But he's longest reign now. Is he two time t- champion? Yeah, he's two time, but now he's held it longer than Adrian and longer than Zodiac. Our first he's, a, he's such a hardworking young man. He he's you can tell he stays in the gym. He's just we're we talking about icon. Icon is just yep. man. He runs on all cylinders all the time, doesn't he? He's just jacked. Ain't he he jacked? does, Holy man. Uh, about as much muscle as you can put on 145 pounds. I know. You know. Yeah. He's 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 a he's a real good athlete. Had a chance. You know. You bring him up. I had a chance to um, do some production work with him on that pay per view we did in Pikeville. He was he was good. Oh, he he there. loved being down there. When he talked to me oh. every last time I see, he's like, "You should have been down there." And I was like, ah, "I should have been down there." I think something came up with me, but I think I was out of town or something. But. Um, Man, he he was so excited. Oh, he did a great. He did a good. It was a good match. Yeah, it was a real good match. Yeah, he um, was in a four way that night. I think right. It was four or five. It was four or five way. Manny Domingo was in that one. Star Rider was in that one. Uh-huh. Um, oh god, the, the young Buzz Backlund. Buzz Backlund was in that. I think Buzz, Buzz Backlund was the opening guy. Now I'm gonna tell you what. You open a pay per view. Now it's an independent wrestler for wrestling. I was so impressed by this. Uh, Buzz Backlund had a full-on bagpipe band play him out to the ring on the in, open, in Pikeville. In Pikeville, oh wow! Opened a pay-per-view with Buzz Backlund come because he was over like Rover, and they had a full-on bagpipe band march out with him like he was ra- Rowdy Deadgum Piper. Oh wow! And it was I that's mean, incredible. The crowd just was salivating. It was a great way. To they love wrestling in Pikeville. They Golly. love it, and it, and he looks dead on like. Bob Backlund. Bob Backlund. He does. Every time uh, Appalachian Mountain Wrestling down there, uh, Kyle Maggard and those guys, they you know they go to Pikeville all the time. They always feel they they do uh, the local charity shows for the 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 basketball teams and stuff, and they always fill the houses down there. They oh, they yeah. always do. They love wrestling in Pikeville. Well, the, I think the reason we didn't completely sell every single seat out because we was running against the uh, high school football that night. Yeah. yeah. And you know how big that is down there. Everybody, that's that's the entertainment out out in Appalachia. You know, you got the high school teams, and of course, you got Appalachia, uh, uh, Pikeville University out there. You Pike, go boys. You Pike, I Pike, we Pike together. Yeah, and, you're from uh, down there, right? I'm Hall Collar. You could yeah. you throw baseball at Hall Collar from Pikeville. Yeah, okay. Um, you got to take a left where the barn used to be. Okay, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I was I was at home down there. I did not get the opportunity to wrestle that night on the pay per view, but I was definitely behind the scenes doing production stuff. Yeah, and uh, what's that like though? Doing production? It's a little bit different. It's a lot. You know, I I really enjoy it. Um, uh, golly, man, uh, Al Snow giving me the opportunity to help produce TV over there as an agent, and uh, man, I'm just I'm kind of learning on the fly. You know, it's kind of like us. It's it's brand new for me. You know, I've always I've always been the guy in the ring, and I've always taken direction. And now it's it's given direction, but you know, I'm working on about a year being behind the scenes there. And oh, wow, okay. And I, I I just have relished every single Thursday. Are you night. a part of the creative team too? No, mm-hmm. I, I, I'm not on creative just yet. What's uh, their creative team like? Was I mean, you don't have to give me no secrets, but is it like is is it a, y'all got a a set writing team or well, let me let me put it in perspective for you fella you talking about ovw what was the good thing you said about ovw a ways ago independent promotion independent what weekly, pro- te- weekly television pro and most entertaining thing you could watch on tv yes that's the writing team now i ain't gonna drop no names on the writing team oh i don't need to know i just need to know it, like it is you you know it's 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 trial by fire yeah you know because it's 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 guys it's a weekly television program yep. Yeah, and things change. At every poster year, watch professional wrestling. Right there at the bottom, it says "card subject to change." Yes, and by golly, somebody has car trouble, and they're in the yep. main event on your television show. It's all right. This is what we're going to do. Yeah, and it. So having somebody like Al Snow as the head writer for certain. Yes, I'll go ahead and name drop him because it's yep. his house. Oh yeah, we knew he that already. We kind of figured too. that out on the wrestling show. Don't, I think. Don't nothing go through him that you know. Um, but, he's the man that you go to. But he's been, you know, we, we, we can see his work back. In, we can go back and watch his work on WWE uh, back on YouTube, and you, you can see how creative that man is anyway. That's right. That's right. When I watched wrestlers, he, he made sure that when there was a Halloween-themed match, that he's going to have the perfect things for the Halloween match. That's right. He, he, he understands the Attention business. to detail is really he, what he, he, he understands. He understands not only professional wrestling, but he understands entertainment. Yeah. Uh, Just like he understands this man right here. 
You gotta have this man size so main vent. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because Jay Nero, he's a hitman. You want a man to get the job done? You got the man right there because he wants that ten thousand dollars. And for that ten thousand dollars, he's gonna take someone's head off. It took me a little while to get up to OBW, but once I got there, yeah, yeah, I sunk my feet in the concrete, and that's where I'm at. Where'd you start out at? I started my training out in Wisconsin, ACW in Green Bay. Okay, yeah. same school that uh, Mr. Kennedy came out of. Okay, nice. I was about a year and a half behind him, and then the same school that Hornswoggle came out of. Me and the guy that trained me trained Hornswoggle. Okay, then I moved out to Vegas for a little while. And helped with training out there at FSW. That's the big promotion out there in Las yep. Vegas. Um, we had guys come through the Chris uh, Chris Bay, Kenny King's out there. Um, Prayers to Chris Bay. You got yeah. I got, he's I think he just got hurt at the last yep. show, and uh, all thoughts about going out to him. And you had guys like Disco Inferno and the Godfather. And yeah. all those guys coming through and teaching. Um, I was lucky enough to be uh, one of the I, assistant I, trainers for. Ke- well, how do you Cross. feel about what do you feel yeah, about yeah. Disco Inferno? He, they, 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 they. I hear him like on the internet. They always saying that he wasn't a great worker. I always remember him being like a great worker in WCW. I watched WCW every week when I was young. I would switch from WWE to. He was and the it, king of Thursday Night Thunder. He was yes, always he was. like he. He was like the workhorse of WCW, yeah. and he doesn't get the credit. As a worker that he should, I, I don't. Yeah. I think I'm a. I was always a big fan of his. I, yeah. I didn't like his the gimmick of the disco, but like when he was in the ring, he could wrestle. Yeah. He could I, wrestle. I've been in the room with him couple several times. And he can wrestle, there. right? He's, yep. he's everybody puts him much. like everybody acts like he can't wrestle. Like who? Like he why? can wrestle. Yeah. It's, it's just the people they hate his gimmick so much that they deny that yeah, he it's was the gimmick, on I guess. Some, yeah. Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some decent bangers. Yeah. Yeah, who who there. else would you up there with? Disco and Disco, the Godfather came through a bunch. Yeah, and you said you were the assistant trainer. Yeah, I helped. Uh, Cross. Michael Modest was the uh, the head trainer out there. We trained Karrion Cross. Nice. He came in from MMA fighting and trained out there. I was actually his first match. Oh, so Karrion's yeah. really. It's great to see well, all the things he's doing. Oh man, there. he does a great Jesse yeah, Ventura, yeah. don't he? Oh, did amazing. you did you see that? Yeah. Did you see that interview? Like how he did that Jesse Ventura? That was I want to so see him funny, doing man. the actual full-on interview as Jesse the Body Ventura. That was Jesse's coming back. He's going to do Saturday night main event. He's well, if he's that. doing that, I want to see Karen Cross sit down with commentary with him. Yeah, and he's going to just be a Jesse Jesse Body Ventura commentary team. Yeah, he's going to be back. He's that's that's a great that's a great thing that WWE yep. did was uh, mend that fence that that that. He's he's a legend, man. He's just, absolutely know, yeah. It's part. I mean, more. I remember him more as a commentator than than like actually being, you know, in the ring. But you know, he was also a governor. So what was it like uh, wrestling uh, carrying? Matches I had with him was in his first year, so he was yeah. he was really green at the time. Yeah. But yeah. but he had it from day one. So you remember now, like you remember how he was in the ring, and you can see him on the oh, yeah. like he's how how much has he improved. Oh, leaps and bounds! You can't, yeah. even, you can't yeah. even put, you can't put words to it. Yeah. But there's a lot of what he did from the very his very first match and the whole time he was at FSW that you still see in WWE now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The man has it. I mean, he's got the promo ability. He can go inside the ring. The final like, testament's proven that he can also dabble his hand inside a bit of mansion too. I mean, was it what? What? Oh man, like. Being on that level, like you know, of of rest, top wrestling, you got to be at the top of your skill to be up there, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same, yeah. same with both. Of them. I mean, with the, to me, professional wrestling, you got you got to try to be at the top of your skill everywhere. Where whatever skill level you are, you yeah. have to be at the top of that. Yeah. Otherwise, you're not going to progress. It's constantly a learning experience. I've been wrestling 24 years. I learn something in the ring every yeah. day. I always exactly. make it, and, and I always you make always it. Learn. Like I, I watch a lot of um, a lot of watch a lot of wrestling. I watch a lot of comedians, and the way the comedians do, you know, they they write jokes and then they actually go to shows. They get up and 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 do their they work out. They they call it working out. It's probably like the same as like independent wrestlers. You can do whatever you want to do in the gym, but you're going to learn as much. You're going to learn more. Working out in front of the crowd, right? Am Absolutely. I right? Yeah. Like I said, I every time I'm in the ring, I learn something. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter if I'm working someone who's new or I'm working someone who's been in longer than me. 
I mean, Jibba Dub Blackhoff had tied horns a couple times. Yeah. I love I love the, what I love about wrestlers is that you know you can go to a show that there's like thirty people there, and then you can go to a show that there's like you know two hundred people there or three thousand people there. You're gonna get you're gonna get that a lot of wrestlers give you the same sh- they give you the same energy at that thirty people show than they would at that three thousand people I've, show. I've wrestled in front of five people. Before. And no, and you, you yep. have to yeah. If, exactly. if you try to hold back, that's when people get hurt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't want to hold back. I mean, you got to give the people what they want, even if it's five people. Because those five people, they see you doing good, they're going to go on there and tell their friends, hey, you got to check this guy out. You got to check that guy out. And they paid their money that day just like you, if you fill an arena. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. You have to go out there and you have to give it your best no matter how many people are out there. That's and, why yeah. we'll, we'll go to shows and there will be, you know, hundred people there and then we do like we do clips of their you know their wrestling and then you'll get they'll put it on Facebook, you know, and then you'll get people like, Oh, there was only twenty hundred people there and then we're like, Well, you know, uh fifty thousand people just saw this clip. So it don't matter if there was yep. fifty people there because I just put you on my Facebook page and you got fifty thousand views. So right. you know and then like I always tell these young wrestlers they'll they'll call me and be like Hey, take that down because I got like ten bad people talking shit about me, and I'm like, dude. But, but there's like forty nine thousand people that saw you and know your name, and it's like just getting your name out there. Just like, you got to keep on doing it and get your name out there and stop, stop listening to well, the comments. And the, and the thing that people need to understand too is they're talking. Yeah, they're talking bad. Exactly. Bad press is just as good as good press. Like, you know, uh, that's why we just go ahead and do the podcast the way we do it. We don't edit or anything. It's because, you know, if they're talking shit about our editing or our, our production, it's like, oh, cool. They're still talking shit about us. They're talking also, about us. Also, the clips that we post is tape study. They can go back and watch and see what they need to change. That to be has been trying well, to A lot them. of guys that will come on the show, and we'll have them on the show, and then, they're not getting booked, and then we'll have them on the show, and we'll put some clips out there, and then they're like they're just getting booked like everywhere, and it's like, man, that feels good for us, you know. Some our 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 reach around here is bigger than I even know, or and this 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 whole podcast is just rolling like it just turned into something that I just like I can't control anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Maybe glad you guys, uh, you know, uh, to get. Guys on y'all's level to come in here, you know, we get the local guys, but the guys on y'all's level to come in here and talk to us, you know, because y'all guys are, you know, uh, up on this other level than everybody else, you know. Especially the main. That's <laughs> I know, you're going to be in the main event, and I was like, you know, I'd seen you on there, and I was, I'm a big fan of yours, and I seen you down in, in Lancaster down there. Yep. And, and you, first thing you did, like, you, you shook my hand. You know, I've, I've seen you wrestle in, in the ring and the OVW, and I'm like, and then I walk in and you like shake my hand and I'm like, oh man, this guy is fucking cool, man. This yes, guy is, is like down to earth and really cool. You look like such a, a star like out there when you're out there wrestling and you're out there with Tony Evans. And it's like you look almost unapproachable sometimes because you're like so big and you're so mean looking anyway. <laughs> you know Tony what I'm saying? Evans but then like, like I walk in, I, you know, because I can, I, you know, I can go in the back of these, you know, in, in the back. Because I'm not going to give him any secrets away. The guys are in the back, and you come, I come in, you like shake my hand. I was like, ah, this is this guy's cool. So plus, thank you so much for coming in here. Plus, I will never understand the people that want to give away secrets. That kind of kills what what wrestling is all about. The secrets need to be kept secret. You can yeah. be back there, but don't be don't be going, huh? I know what they're going to do, or being like. I saw what that guy put underneath <laughs> the ring. That was earlier tonight. Hey, guys, check it out. He yeah. put that dust underneath there. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let the secrets be secrets like it's supposed to be because the fans that's there don't need to be knowing what's happening on that show. So, so after Vegas, where'd you go after Vegas? I moved back to Green Bay for a little while. Yeah. So I was out there with GLCW. Dave Hero, that's Cal Hero's dad. Okay, so I was wrestling out there with him, and I—he's I a hell of a wrestler, ain't he? You know, I I was around him, and my son started at the same time. Really, your and, son wrestles too? Yeah, he wrestles out in Green Bay. Okay, cool, cool. And the, the improvement that he's done moving out here and training at OVW, he is. Send us some clips. We'll put them on. We'll put Night it on our day different. Send us some Heck clips. Yeah. We'll, we'll put it on our our, our Facebook Definitely. page, man, and you know, uh, you know. 
give a good plus sh- that could be a future shout out to him. Yeah, no, right. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm, my my son was talking about moving out here in March because I told him I said if you want to if you want to do this if this is what your career path is, yeah. WW is the place to learn. Yeah, exactly. Yep. He'll get good it's, training. There's there's so many there's so many places like that you can wrestle without the license. You guys wrestle in Kentucky a lot. Uh, what's the difference between having to get a license and not getting a license? Wisconsin have a license? No, no. I think there's someone said there's six or seven states that are licensed. Yeah, yeah. Kentucky's the, one of them. The license, all the, the all, there's not a difference in the wrestling. You just go get a physical. Yeah. You pass the physical. You yeah. Go to the license board and get a license. Yep. Yeah, well, a lot of people don't want to take that extra step of going to get that physical. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people that that think that, oh, it's too much work to get a physical, so I'm going to go to this. No, I guess if you really want it, you'll place. do what you got to do. Yeah. You know, when you, you got rep, reputable establishments when there's a licensure yep. procedure. Exactly. Yeah. I think so. I think it's better. You, you you don't it's not just to be a wrestler but it's to be a anything yeah M- you yeah. got to have the physical you got to have the training because they don't just let you in there if you ain't referee trained. Yeah, you need to be trained right. even the ring you. announcers got to have you, your license. quality your yeah. quality and then you've got other places that run shows that just aren't fun, good to watch they don't one it's not ran by a reputable person yep. now there are good promotions out there that are that are other independents out of kentucky yep. yeah uh I, I absolutely trust anything that uh indiana powerhouse wrestling does up there in muncie indiana uh-huh old pitbull and his team up there they put on one heck of a show they heck got yeah. one i believe november the ninth. grindhouse as well on november the ninth. um I'm, i think i'm on that show Okay, um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them again. Tell us again. Where is it at? Tell us. I believe that's November the 9th up there in Muncie, Indiana. I should be up there. They probably have um, a YouTube page too, right? It, well, wait. I got OBW that night. Oh, man. Oh, man. But anyway, I know they got a show up there. Okay. But it's re- if, you, if you're up there in that neighborhood, yeah. you've got to check that out. Hey, we, we've been up there to Grindhouse. Grindhouse Ryan is Robertson. good now. There's, there's, your, there's your one. That's uh, uh, Rodney and all them. You got the, a lot of the yeah. OBW guys that kind of go back yep. and forth between the two as they're working on different things. The, the arena Grindhouse is like is for real the arena is awesome. Yeah, uh, Reverend Reverend Roberts. Somewhere. Reverend Roberts. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he does a bang up job over. I think he's. He we actually thing. got this area a share a locker room with him. He need a sweet back in June fifth. He gets it, man. Golly, he gets it. Yeah, he does. Uh, sure would, does. I never had a chance to cross paths with Ronnie Roberts until I was at OVW. And uh, I've always been a real big big giver. And uh, he he wanted to give me the moon. I was like, no, no, we can't do it. But, no, he he hadn't. He said, like, man, you're going to call this big stuff on me or I'm going to call it for you. And I'm like, all right, buddy, we'll, we'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, no, I got nothing but good things to say about anything they do over at Grindhouse. They do, I think they run on Sundays yep. early in the afternoon. Sundays, yeah. Sundays. I think once Last a month. Last Sunday of every month. Yep. Yeah. And it, it's, you know, it's, it, it's, it's right in the backyard of OVW. Yep. But it's good to have those kind of neighbors in your backyard because yeah. they, they are, you know, the, the OVW guys go over and warm up and they have their guys that are trying to come up. You're, you got Icon. He's a, yep. he's a regular over there. Uh-huh. And sure you know, is. They, they give that opportunity, those connections that those people, you know, it's like, yeah, we'll bring you in and OVW give you a look. Well, and then you get a chance to deal with production. So, yeah. you know, part of my job is, hey, well, here's what's not working for me. Yep. That's just my opinion. Go get another opinion. I'll say that- also, that critique helps them out. That's right. One of our guys that we uh, showcase a lot is going to be up there with uh, you guys, I think, uh, Chris Crow. You know Chris Crow? Okay. Yeah. Okay. He was That's just in here for an interview uh, last Sunday. Yeah. Yep. Man, they're, 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 it's, it's really hot right now. The guys that are coming in from outside, there's a lot of NWA guys that are showing up. Uh-huh. Um, uh, Carson Drake. Golly, oh my man. god, right? 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 You talk about ready for pay per view, man. Yeah. Carson Drake carries it. Jack Vaughn's a regular. LBW. Oh, Jack. He, oh, we I love Jack. Jack we love Jack Vaughn. We're fans of his. Big fans. We of got his. him to thigh slap because <laughs> no one no one else would say it. So we said thigh yeah. slap, and he points out, he's like, all right. You know, if I, if I had to pick top five workers right now overall, Jack Vaughn's going to be in my top five. And yeah, I'm just trying to blow him up. I mean, that dude's entertaining. I mean, what's he got? 100, 100 million people watch his stuff yep. that ain't even got nothing to do with wrestling. But it's got to do with wrestling, you know. Exactly. And he's over like Rover. And then his wrestling, he backs it up in the ring with what he does. Most, one of the most entertaining fellas you ever watch. Exactly. So if you get a, and he goes everywhere. You know, he's a, he's a career guy. So if you get a chance to check Jack Vaughn out at any place he shows up, that's where he's worth buying a ticket for just to watch him do his. Thing. Such a you know his such a, a nice guy, man. He 
He always takes pictures with us. He's right. just uh, such a great guy. Yeah. What's up, Clamby Jane and Ian Mosley? Looks like uh, Clamby Jane's tuning in. Sorry? Calamity, Calamity Jane. Jane's tuning in. Uh, one of our Calamity Jane, where you at, honey? Yeah, she's on right here watching. She's part of the podcast. She does her own show on Tuesday nights. Oh, I, you know, the only reason I come on the Andy show was because I exactly. thought she was going to be here. <laughs> she was tickled to death when we were in, you were you guys were in uh, Lexington. Oh. And you you walked up to her and you told you just knew who she was and you said who she she was like oh my god Gemini you, knows who I am you let me catch Miss Blackhawk slipping I got her replacement in old <laughs> I tell you what because she's she's what you know she's cut from the same cloth as old Gemini Blackhawk we got yep. along right away oh yeah and that was the funny thing about meeting her because when I went up to her I was like oh my gosh it's you and she was like it's you and I'm like who am I <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was like, like, I know you. You're funny. She's like, you're funny. And I'm like, let's take a picture. She's like, oh, please. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. what a sweetheart, man. Oh, she's Golly, great. Joy. She's she awesome. Funny. Oh, she's funny. I'd do something with her in a heartbeat, man. I tell you. Yeah. You know, yeah. if we could, I'd do her uh, show. Yeah. You know, it's I'd Tuesday nights. Yeah. Hell she yeah. Oh, she does a, about it. She does her own little live uh, show. Like, uh, she, she doesn't live up here in Lexington. She lives down in Lincoln County or something yep. like that. Yeah, oh. she's out there. Uh, yeah. I think it's Ashland, uh, yeah. Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she said, "Hey, y'all, Jack's great. His gets are hilarious. Hell, I would have been there if Halloween wasn't tomorrow." Oh, yeah. she's yeah. coming up Saturday, actually. Yep, she is. Well, man, you got to pop in here and hey, talk to her Saturday. If, there's if a, there's a little something I got going on Saturday. Oh okay. yeah, the yeah, that's right. But if y'all want to pop in, you be my guest. You well, that pay per view, uh, the other uh, the WWE pay per views yep. early, ain't it? Yep. Yeah. yeah. That one's gonna be early. We're, well, we're, we're gonna do a watch party here. And it's gonna be point. early, and then we're gonna try to. We, we ought to just watch their show too. We ought to just don't, yep. we want to show. We watch their pay per view too. Exactly. Yeah. It's gonna be on OBW. No, what time you, is y'all's? Y'all's is at about six at night. Seven. Got, uh, well, I think we open the doors at seven in the bell, or it's got seven o'clock bell time, six o'clock open on Saturday. Yeah. And TV usually runs about the same way. They'll crack the door open there by a quarter till. They'll get the dark matches going, and then we go live to TV at uh, I'd love to go up uh, there 7 o'clock. Saturday. Yeah. I'd love to go up there Saturday night. Yep. Yeah, man, if, you're, if you want to. You We've been there all If you can't before. make it Saturday because it's Halloween and everybody's yep. got stuff going on, you come on up there Thursday. Let me know you're coming, yeah. and I'll let them know you're coming. Okay, cool. Good. And yeah. then uh, come in and check us out. Well, Halloween's Thursday. Saturday's Halloween's Thursday and it's Saturday. Saturday's is the paper reckoning, 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 yep. and that's the that's that's the y'all's uh, kind of like Halloween uh, pay per view kind of. Will, will it be in November? So the reckoning. Oh, is, that's right. It's kind of based on what the revolution's doing. Doug's it's Doug's pay per view. Yeah. Um, really designed for you know, so his people are gonna most likely they're gonna try to come out on top of that. Um, yeah. You know, he's. We were talking about his his people there in the revolution. He's got some of the hottest hottest names in wrestling going on right now. We mentioned J Rod because she's you can't not mention yep. J Rod. He picked up Tony Gunn. Yeah, Tony oh, man. twenty plus years. I mean, he's he's got it. You know, he's a gunslinger. And, and Crixus. Uh, Crixus is 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 for real, man. Now he's he's fat. He's fighting injuries. But yeah. gosh, who wants to fight that guy, man? He's a juggernaut. Yeah. He's a, and the longer he goes, the the harder he is to fight. You bring that up, um, Crixus and and De Niro. They had a big old war up there in Wisconsin, and uh, uh, Jay De Niro got the best of him, tore his bicep. Oh man! They, they chewed each other up. I saw the video from that one. I didn't Heck get a chance yeah. to go up there to GLCW and see it. But him and Crixus, they had a, a TLC, and they didn't love each other one bit. They beat the ever loving hell out of each other in that fight. Yes, they did. They did because um, it's right. It's right on here. We both left that. We oh both left gosh. that match hurt. Yeah, it was something. Is this it here? Yeah. Look at that. That's uh. He found out real. I quick mean, look at the who, you, you had to fight him, buddy. That dude is freaking. And look at him. He jumps. Good. He jumps on that apron like it's nothing. Oh my god! He hit him like hell, week. <laughs> now look at that. Look that, at that fighting. That right there. That's Holy a war, but, smokes. but you know what? Who was the one that ended up with the torn bicep? That's Crixus. And you know why? Bicep. He got the win out of it at the end. But yeah, he, he may left. have, but he found out that Ooh. you don't want to mess with Jay De Niro because he makes good on his name. Well, he got up. You see him just spear De Niro out of his boots, and De Niro's back on top of uh -huh. him. Yep. That's tough. Yeah, I fought this guy. 
Yeah, I exactly. thought, that's what I said. I wasn't joking. If I was to, if I was gonna pick one in this in this go, man, the, the De Niro's the, the black mama. button down, man, that was a great choice. The black button down is yeah, always, yeah, that always looks good. Well, you see, you see a lot of different colors now. I'm, I'm starting. Oh, you getting into more into colors? Yeah, I'm, yep, I'm mixing black. up the gear a little bit here and there. You got a photo up there on the screen, and I'm in the red. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, there. I you have go. different different colors and in the suits white. and different shirts, all kind of stuff. Fuck yeah, exactly, and. Right Bing. there, I mean, th- this was a war between these two. Golly, look at oh, that. Oh, man. He just knocked his tooth out. What the heck, I'll tell dude. you. What Chris goes into your head? He what got. goes into your head when the, the, when something goes in your head? The head comes into your head. That's crazy. I mean, there's not much that you couldn't do when another man wants to headbutt you. You have to take it or leave it. He's got a head or stone that's i job, know man. right look at him and he Ooh. didn't even need the chair but he just wants to inflict more punishment on you but okay. there's his mistake he took too long he gave you a chance to recover y'all had a great crowd you had a big crowd up there didn't you yeah. uh, about about 400 look at this do y'all always do that or, did they always do that arena there that place you know, that, that's burlington brawl that that's was right, a Leon. specialty uh show but dave hero that's glcw right there uh-huh. dave hero draws Three, four, five hundred people every month. Yeah, I mean it's just a huge crowd. Aren't you impressed? Like so impressed when these these small uh, these small independent pl- can draw big crowds like that? It's just it GLCW's been around for a while. He draws really good, about like OVW. He's drawing about three, four, five hundred people. Kind of on every that month. level of OVW, kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. That that's that that's the big company there in Wisconsin. Okay. Hornswoggle cool. has a company ACW. I wrestled out there for a little Heck for a while yeah. too. But when it is comes he in West Costin too? A, Oshkosh. Horse horse yep, boggles is. Yep. Okay. But Dave Hero has Blizzard Brawl every year. He draws about three thousand people like, every year. I wish <laughs> I'll retire from UPS in a couple of years. I hope I can go do this full time and come up there and venture out of Kentucky more because you know, Rhino uh, invited us to come up to Michigan yep. to see his promotion and we haven't got to get up there yet. And he's now a T such a nice Apollo guy, Pine. right? So, yeah, have you met Rhino? You guys met Rhino? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, oh, sir. Yep. Uh, great guy. He was at uh, um, New South Wrestling down there in Lawrenceburg, and uh, he had done a match. And I went in the back, and I was talking to the guys, and I sat down next to him, and he just he just buddied up, man, talked like he was my best friend. It was awesome. Rhino's a good guy. And guess what? He's now a TNA Hall of Famer. Yeah, that's awesome. Which is well deserved. Because Rhino, man, he had one of the best scores there ever was. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever wrestled Rhino? I haven't wrestled him, but I've been on several shows. Yeah, I've been on shows. Yeah. Yeah. Great guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And who, watching who, this. Who have you met, like, uh, you got you two. Who, who have you guys met that you were, like, a, a, a big star like that it was just so imp- – I mean, even a smaller guy that would just impress you so much, like, like – Anybody probably, stand probably out? Probably the one that impressed me the most, but he's my all-time favorite, was uh, I got a chance to wrestle Road Dog. Road Hell Dog. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I've got a chance to get in the ring with several people. Yeah. I've been in there with Mr. Kennedy. Yeah. Uh, Heck yeah. Road Dog. How's Mr. Kennedy in the ring? You can't even describe it. He's, he's such a great he's, wrestler, he's wasn't he? amazing. I mean, is he still wrestling, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't, he's I on a big show coming up in uh, in Wisconsin. Uh RPW, I think it is. It's him and uh, Zilla Fatu. Is he still going by oh, Mr. Kennedy? Is he going by Mr. Mr. Anderson? Mr. Anderson. Yeah. Yep, yeah. like he when was he, in Tina. Yep, yep. So he's wrestling Zilla. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Zilla wow. is yeah, Umaga. Uh, Umaga. Son. Umaga's my favorite wrestler out of all time. So, like, uh, yeah, I know who Zilla is. I got to. Uh, that was uh, my son. And I stole, got that one I stole his Umaga, and then they, somebody gifted me that one. But Sean gifted you yeah, that. Yeah. But how about you, uh, Jebediah? Who's your? Uh, have I ever been starstruck? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been you starstruck? Know, I don't. I don't get starstruck very easy, feller. Because you know, I'm. I'm. I've been around a lot of them fellers. Yeah. And uh, but I tell you, one that got my tongue tied, and I was so excited to meet her the first time was Jordan Grace. Oh my nice. gosh! She she come into OVW and, and they were in town, and and she stopped by for look see. And did she never, wrestle up there? No, okay. no. She just did just came in. Lives, came yeah. in to say hey. Yeah. And, uh, golly, man, I was just, I've been watching her for a long time. Yeah, did you tell, like, can you believe how she has transformed her body oh. from being, like, some a, a short little chubby girl to oh. to the human, the, the beast that she, the, uh, yes, she the was, juggernaut. She's she one of my favorite. 
she's one of she my was solid man but golly what she's done with the bodybuilding and winning the contest and everything yeah yeah and golly man i just I, I, I was so enamored with her i was like i'd watched her and i'd seen her stuff going along i would be the same way and when she's standing there and i, and I was i was tagging with snake williams jr at the time and, and i was just trying to stay out of the way yeah and I was, was, what's up bobby blade looking yeah. over there and she, I was scared to death. I've never asked, you know, you got to take the photo or don't get yep. And I've never been a photo guy. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, man, I just really want to get a shot with her because she's going to be something. You yeah, know, she is. You yeah. Know, and I, I want to take pictures with everybody at OVW because everybody's going to be something. And I yep. have, I have. I yep. post them all the time. But I've never been afraid to ask for a picture. I don't care who it was. But for some reason, I just was nervous to go ask this little girl for a picture. And didn't want to feel like that weirdo, you know. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And my butt, you know, Snake walked right over to her and says, hey. Jordan Grace, would you, mind taking a, deal. would you mind taking a picture with my friend over here? He's nervous to take a picture with you. <laughs> <laughs> he called you out. And she said, for sure, I'll take a picture. And she come over, and I, she just put her little arm around me. And I was yeah. just like, bless your heart. You are I you. see her, like, I, I watch some of her uh, YouTube stuff and her That's some of her social teacher, media squad. stuff. Hey. And she's so funny. She does a lot of, like, com- uh, jokes with the, the guys in the back and stuff. She also twerked. Wow, it was, it was like, yeah. are you injured? She starts twerking. Christian's like, that's so this. funny. So likable, man. And for them, for her to get this opportunity now, she's big, you know, but to get that NXT opportunity. Yep. Oh, yeah. And they've got, you know, she's about to get the, as I understand it, she's about to get the big deal. Yep. So and she's worth it. Because yeah, she, she won't be in look. NXT for a while. No. They'll, they'll move her straight up to the main roster. She is yeah. such a star. I can see her and Rhea Ripley just, like, ripping it up. Yeah, that's a banger right there because yeah. I think pound for pound, she's as strong as Rhea Ripley. Oh, definitely. Yes. You know, yeah. she, hey, did you see the recent picture with her, Rhea Ripley, and Delta together? I did. I did. How's that look for a faction? That looks like isn't a that, badass faction. Isn't that spooky? That's it crazy. is. Yeah, man, that's good stuff. And Three and muscle mommies. That's the one I'd like to I'd like to meet Rhea Ripley. Uh, she's the biggest female talent of uh, maybe – I'm gonna say at the end of it, she's probably the biggest one of all time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, since go, since China, I guess China was pretty yeah. big when she the knife one in the world. But, but I mean, at a time when the women's divisions were it's at, you yeah. know, it, when in China's day the women's division it was divas. Yeah, know, yeah, right. I'm not knocking any of them because they're all great talents. Exactly, and, you know, they're. But the now, is but she helped. I think she helped. She doesn't get her due, but she helped change it. I think you know, China helped change that whole platform of. The, the muscle woman, you know, right, be, like right. the real her but, and jazz but, and then all those. What did, what did she look? I mean, she had to wrestle men. Yeah. You know, yeah. she was because she was that big. Yeah. And, and Rhea Ripley, she's done this with, you know, with the women. And for me, it's like, golly, man, watch. It's like these these women are out there beating the ever-loving hell. Like they're working. They're working like the, golly, man, it don't look like women's wrestling. These are, I know. You know I'm not, exactly. not, I don't mean it like that because that's, that's a sound bite. Yeah. I don't mean like women's wrestling. I mean, like, they, they, golly, man, it's more entertaining to watch, and the guys do it. And they are well, you used to say, man, when we first started this podcast, we used to do just pay-per-view watch parties, and back in the day, WWE was, was being garbage. And the yeah. women, Charlotte Flair and all them, would steal the show. Right. Right. Steal the like show. I, said, I still say, sometimes the women, they be putting on bangers. They steal the show. The they do. Yeah. They do. Like Rhea Ripley and uh, Charlotte Flair that year, a couple years back when Rhea won the title from Charlotte, they could have main evented the whole show and it would have been that good. What yeah. about last night in NXT when we had the first ever women's casket match? Right. That was that was pretty unique because you, Tane Paxley and Wendy T were trusted with that. You wouldn't have seen that 20 years ago. Exactly. It would have been a, 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 your underwear's match. Exactly. Right, yeah. and they're out there doing it, and it's 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 insane. OVW's got a hell of a women's division. Hey, y'all yeah, do. Yeah, y'all do. always have um, great women up there wrestling. And Freya been, the Slayer, oh, Hollywood gosh. Haley J. That's right. J. Rod. Keep on name dropping, fellas. Bunch of them like Tiffany Nevis, uh-huh. Layla Gray. She's went on to W. She's went on to NWA now. Is she Nevis? NWA Impact. Yeah. Uh, Layla Gray. She's down there making. Waves Layla Gray is incredible. incredible. Yeah. Layla Gray is yeah. incredible. And they they all cut their teeth at OVW. What's the other girl? Um, uh, the other girl that 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 has the match with Layla Gray a lot. Uh, she's from Louisville. Trying to remember her name. Sparks or uh, Jordan? Uh, no, no, Jordan Sparks. Um, I don't know. Is it know. Lady Bird? No, I'll come. But no, she's a blonde, blonde hair girl. Mm, that's young man. Too. She's like nineteen years old. Yeah, uh, it's a friend of J Mo's. 
Um, that's another one too, is Sophia. Rose. Yeah, oh, Sophia Rose. That's who I was thinking. Of. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's it's just a heck of a women's division there, and then you get great matches from them. Yeah. And I, I'm going to throw this inside there. I think Luke Curtis. He might could possibly get signed by W or AEW. He deserves it. He's, he's certified. He's he's out there working with. Uh, I think he's out there on the West Coast, working with Japan right now, and he's he's doing. Um, they go be made waves in OVW. He, the, the, you, you show up and you got it, and you, you're not. He, he, what Luke Curtis has figured out, man, is he listens. And there's yep. so many young guys that don't open their ears and listen. But he took from, you know, any producers that were at OVW, he took from all of them the best stuff. He had those conversations with Al, and he had those conversations with Doug. We got a chance to work a match together, and I'm always a less is more. Yeah. And when we had a chance to do it together. He, this is all we're doing, buddy. And he's like, all right. And he trusted it. And he was like, man, we didn't do anything. And, God, it was crazy. And I'm like, all right, now you do what you do because I can't do what you do but make it mean something. And all was – off he went, right? And then he had to yeah, – Oh, okay. He was, so he's painted. listening. He's listening. Yeah, he's like, okay, okay. And then he had, to, and he had the chance to work with the EC3, and they had a yep. banger. And EC3, you know, he's one of the top guys in the world. Top guys. Yeah. Top guys in the world. Like, in the ring, he and is he was so WWE good. Champion. And Saturday night, you got to fight him. So good. <laughs> like, Saturday, yeah. Saturday night, I get to beat him. Uh, yeah. So, oh. Do you have a game plan for this? Like, I know you and Tony Evans are kind of on the same wavelength, but do you have a game plan for this match? When? Just win. <laughs> you just got to go in there and bash. Just like you're doing here on the ring, uh, just all bash. I can, all I can say to Tony Evans is he better hope that he can come up with more than that, 10,000, because Jay Nero's <laughs> saying that he's going to go through even Tony Evans. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be no think friends of, in that. What would you think about when Zach. Tony took that uh, He took that uh, body slam from the little referee? Referee De- uh, Dallas Edwards. Dallas Edwards down there in, uh, in Lexington, down at the Manchester Music Hall. Hey, anyone can do anything on any given day. Exactly. And also, you got, you got to get the referee some flyers, too, because... They do a lot of jobs. Uh, that's great. Like Jonathan Barnes, Dallas Edwards. There's a lot of trust for him to be able to power slam someone like Tony Evans. We got uh, Jake. Jake, for you guys. Yep. Uh, Jake. Jake Cloyd. Yeah. Jake Cloyd. The man. Jake Cloyd is uh, awesome. He works at the uh, UPS with me. Man, I'll tell you what, that fella is big as a wrestler, ain't he? He is, God, man. Yep. man. He's just a strap, and every time I see him, I'm like, man, you get hotter and hotter every time I see you. He's Jack, man. He's in there lifting those weights. I think he thinks that you know he has to be that big because he has to like he has to be in there with all those big guys. He, well, you got Daniel too. He's a TNA head referee. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. Yep, Dalen. That man is also doing waves too. Yeah, you got that. that shows trust. You gotta you gotta talk good about referees because you know honestly matches are referees help make matches. Yep. And, uh, you know, OVW's got a heck of a plethora of referees. They got young ones there. They got uh, that Katie. Uh, yep. What's her last name? Katie. Uh, she been ref- she did Impact Bound for Glory the other night. So she's a, she's, she's a referee for life now. She's in it. Oh, yeah. What's uh, a, uh, what's an upcoming star in OVW that we need to be looking out for? Jay De Niro. Jay De Niro. Yep. Oh, okay. Right here he well, is. Yeah. To be honest with you, anyone who's at OVW – you need to keep your eye on. Well, you're already yep. he's already a star. I was talking like about Will Austin. I'm talking about like a, a a guy that just came in. You're looking like that guy's got it. He's gonna be you know, something he's in this not, business. He's not bringing anybody in that don't look like they got it. Oh and yeah, it, okay. It's, it's it, it, they're everybody's looking for an opportunity. The 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 dance card is full. You yeah, know, that's everybody, right. Everybody, there's a uh, Booker gets an email and everybody wants in and everybody wants to play. There's a lot of guys that have just showed up that have got looks. Bruss Hamilton. Yep. He's a power lifter, uh, the record holder. Um, Donovan Cecil, power lifter, record holder. Donovan Cecil's on a on a path right now. Uh, he just knocked off uh, uh, Mally Bally Shira. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Wow, that's a big win. That's a, big, a, big that's a huge yeah. win. Uh, he went through Jay. Yeah. Uh, uh, fluke. fluke. That's I mean, fluke. Thing, all right, now it was a fluke. Was that was a fluke? Oh, we're gonna talk about anytime. That. Anytime somebody that that, that deadlifts six thousand pounds uh, puts a run, <laughs> to, puts the run together on you, and he blindsides you, you don't kick out. Well, you know, exactly. I mean, did you, yeah, everybody he loses. threw me into the rafters. Like uh, you got to find. <laughs> you got to. You got also like he said. Keyword blindsides you. Yeah. He got blindsided. Oh, he, he, he cleans your clock, feller. Yeah. <laughs> 
but next time you'll yeah. know what to expect, right? Yeah, yes, and that's the first time. So we called him. You learned something to yep. ring that day, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> TW3 is on the one. You got to keep that. Who's that? On. TW3. He's out in California now. Oh, okay. But he's one. He was one of my first students in in Wisconsin. We came to OVW from Wisconsin. Okay. Cool. And, nice. Uh, he, he's he's got it. Okay. Will and I wanted to look out for is Will Austin. Will Austin. Oh yeah, yeah. He's, he's you saw him earlier this the, year. The past Will Austin is <sighs> but uh, is Buzz still. Buzz yes, still there? Buzz, Buzz is still is there. On, Buzz is on sabbatical. Oh, okay. oh, he is. Um, he's on sabbatical, but uh, I hope to see Buzz real soon. You know, because he that you talk about kids that just literally just started, yeah. and you uh, I watched him uh, watched him do, and I thought, man, I wish I, I'd have been that good when I first started. Yeah, because he just got it. You know, he was a, he's a student of the game. Yeah, and uh, he does. He just yeah, he got it. He yeah. got it, and he figured. He it looks out. like he's been wrestling for years. That's right. Yeah. He did. It, it, the, he didn't have no green on him at all, and they put him right. Uh, I think he, he he got broke open there up at the GLCW, yeah. and then turned around next week. He was on TV making a run because yeah. he he just showed up like it, and guys, took the title from Will Austin pretty quickly. That's, that's he's right. probably yep. done as a kid growing up watching wrestling. He's probably done those matches a thousand times in his head, oh, and it's part. It's mostly in the head, right? He was a fan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he was a fan. Golly, yeah, man. He, he's just a student of wrestling, and and he's got a bright future. And it ain't he got be in no hurry. No, yeah, you know, that's he's, right. still, he's he's not. I don't think he's twenty two years old yet. So, wow, you know, that's so young. He's man. a young feller, and uh, he's, he 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 had a first run was a big one, and he takes some time off, and, and when it's time, he'll be back. You know, and any company that he applies for should be more than happy to pick him up. That's right. Yeah, he's a lightweight. He's a lighter weight guy, but he he he'll bang. Yeah. He'll bang. Exactly. So, yeah, Buzz Backlund. That's a that's a good one. Icon Lee. Icon Lee is something else, man. Like it's like he's he said, he's a hundred thousand miles an hour. Yes, he is. And uh, when Icon Lee settles himself down a little bit, he's going to be one of the good ones. Yeah, you exactly. Know? But every time I every time I go to Louisville, I run into him just out. Like I was up in Louisville. Um, oh, I was over in Albany, actually, Indiana, and I was at the casino up there seeing Andrew Santino and. Icon Lee was there. It's like he's everywhere. He's everywhere, yeah. and he stays busy. Yeah, you, know, yep. you see, his, he posts everywhere. He posts. He, yeah, he he, um, he did a. He, he's part of the podcast. He was I mean, on State Fair and wrestled uh, Will Austin. No, yeah. wrestled. Uh, well, wrestled Will Austin. Right? Uh huh. Yep. Um, yeah, I believe so. He's also yeah. wrestled Buzz Backlund. He, they they did at that pay per view. So yeah, I'm not gonna. I can't knock Icon Lee, man. He looks like a million bucks. He does, man. He and stays he in, in the that gym. Work. And he's just, you know, he's he's going to figure it out. And when he finally does, oh man, here it is. But he stays busy. He, like, you can't say he don't work. Yep. And he, he wrestles. And when he gets in there, he's it's the Icon Lee show. So yeah. he gets being a star. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, he's absolutely, you know, he's a talent. And he's got like a um, with C four. He's affiliated with C four. Like yep. he he. Mm -hmm. he Talk them into giving him a affiliation uh, program with if, them. If, if there's a guy that should teach a lesson in self marketing, yes, Icon Lee's at him. Oh yeah, you yeah. Got, you know, ain't nobody else gonna give it to you, and this feller's not scared to go out there. Yep. And no, he's not he's scared to talk to anybody. He joined forces with us. I put him on. I, he's he's part of the podcast. I was like, you know, whenever you even if you don't have the title, you're still gonna be part of the yeah. podcast because he's just a. He's just like you said. He's a marketing genius. He really is. That's right. He's got he's got a got a good head for business on his shoulders. And a lot of talents need to learn yep. from his example. The promote the shows that they're going to be on. Post the flyers. Let people know who you are. Yeah. Post yourself out. There. If he's going to be on, if he's on your show, like he's going to promote it. Like yeah. he's going to promote. It don't matter where he's wrestling. He's going to promote it on 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 his on his uh, social media. Well, I mean, I'll tell you how smart this fella is. He's most guys don't do it, but what he did was he went out and he took the promo shot from the pitch there he wrestled his match for the title. Yes. And inside of twenty four hours he had about a hundred copies of that poster on his on his merch table. Yeah. And was signing his autograph to that fight he was fighting that night. Heck Not a lot yeah. of guys do that. A lot uh, exactly. Of guys, oh, this is my this is my merch, this is my he he took a promo poster, printed it out, and sold it and made money. And I don't so, know who's taught him this. He just that's just smart. Self Self-taught, self-taught. All this is self-taught from him. So I see that part of him, and I'm like, man, you're you're hungry, and that that that's what turns he wants me it. on about Icon Lee because he's really really hungry. He wants it exactly. bad. And there's there's other things that might need work along the way, but he, the the kid's got it. 
He's a body. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I went up to Detroit with him, man. He's such a good, like, I went up to Detroit with him. Uh, he was having a match up there. He's like, come with me, come with me. Went up there. We uh, I took my family, and he stayed with me and my family in an Airbnb. Such a gracious guy. Such, mm -hmm. like, so, like, he, he got up in the morning and did, like, the dishes, and he was doing some laundry, and he was just, like, he, he had – he cleaned up his spot. It was, so, it was like so disciplined. He's so disciplined. He's he knows what he wants, and he he respects everybody that's around him. You know, he just really does. That's yeah. true. All all around nice fella. Yeah, you great know. guy. He yeah. really is. A lot of the boys appreciate what you know he, the way he responds in the back and things like that. And yeah, he's good to it's good to be around. That's the way he's supposed to be too. Yeah. I hope his you know I hope like I said, your opportunity rises. Yeah, you know, and then if he answers the call, he answers the call. Well, you never know when that opportunity is going to hop exactly. on. Exactly, you know. Yeah. Um, like I say, a card subject to change. Yeah, I think at the Pikeville pay per view, I think he was in the right place at the right time, and it wasn't a bad decision to put him in there. Yeah. So when you're there, you're there. You know, it's like guys. He loves it. You no, know, he's 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 living the business. He loves it. He lives yeah. it. Like you said, he I, lives the business. I, he lives I, it. I respect yep. him. I respect him for it. Yeah. Plus, I think that a lot of young guys should listen to whatever. Veterans talk because I know that there's some veterans on the independent scene that's like you can have four of us sitting there and there's young guys that won't won't come up and try mm -hmm. to pick our brains. Yeah, I think that they should listen to what those veterans say. They say come pick our brains because we're we're a wealth of knowledge just waiting to pass. Those are missed opportunities. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very missed opportunities. Who, who in this business taught you the most? You think just by listening to them or just being around them? It's hard to say who taught me the most. I mean, obviously, the school, you. <laughs> the school I was at is, you know, where yeah. I learned how to wrestle. But then yeah. everything else was pretty much reps. Yeah. Yep. You know, there's guys who, who get into this business and they and they, they go through their training and they're, they're decent in the ring or they're good in the ring and they wrestle once a month. That's all they want to do and that's fine. But for me, it was as much – as many reps as I could get because every time I get in the ring or get in the locker room, even if I'm not on a show, I go in the locker room, introduce myself. If I see somebody, watch a match. I like to I like to critique. I like to, to teach if if someone will wants to listen. Yeah. You know, I don't push it on them. Hey, yeah. had a couple a couple things. If they are busy, don't want to listen to me. Okay, but that's the thing that is missing a lot of times is guys think that they are. As good as they're, as they think they're better than they are, and they think they're as good as they're going to get. Yeah. So they don't ask any questions. They don't try to learn. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, I've been doing this for 24 years. Yeah. And I try to learn something every time I'm anywhere. If I'm yeah. if I'm on the road with somebody and we're driving, I'm talking about wrestling the whole time. I'm at picking brains. Hey, how can I do this better? I'm a big fan of. I've even in Green Bay have students that aren't aren't even ready aren't even in the yep. ring yet but they're at the show and they're doing security and they're doing ring setup they're doing their do you know they're and i'll tell them i'm going out to do my match and say hey watch this and critique me and i get, always get this weird look from them you want me to watch your match i said here's what's going to happen you're going to ask me a question and i'm either going to explain why i did it which is teaching you or i'm going to say huh shouldn't have done that now i just learned something from you and you ain't even wrestled a match yet exactly so you just have to have an open mind and learn. Now, you have to know the right guys to talk to. Yeah. I've talked to guys who say, oh, you should have done this. And you, so I should have let the 150-pound guy throw me around like I'm a rag doll. No, that ain't going to happen. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because exactly. there's some things. It's got to be realistic. Be I mean, he's got you to look realistic. He's got to go with the storyline. It's got to, you know, it's got to be part of it. Imagine the David versus Goliath story being Goliath being thrown around instead of David. It wouldn't work. <laughs> If you go, it, rather, it, it don't even have to be wrestling. I heard a thing that Jim Carnett was talking about, and it was if you're driving down the freeway and you see two guys fighting on the side of the road, and one is this big monster, and the other guy's a little a smaller guy, and that monster's just beating him up, you're gonna, it's just nature to stop to, what's going on over there? Yeah. And then you see that, that smaller guy start coming back and coming back. Well, it excites you. You want to see that big guy yep. get what, you know, he's been eye gouging and yeah. choking and all the dirty tactics you could think of. That's wrestling. Damn straight. Yeah. So that's the thing that, that people need to do is 
you got to tell a story. That's life, the beauty of that is, story, Life too. is wrestling. Even politics is politics is wrestling. This whole thing that's going on right now is just all wrestling. It's a work, brother. You, you brought up Jim Cornette, man. I had a chance to work with him a little bit at OVW when he was doing his time there. And, man, you get a lot of knowledge from Jim Cornette. I'm sure. I wish sure I would spend more time with him. But the opportunities I did have to, to be with him, it was it – was, his delivery is a little bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm kind of not that old, but I'm old enough. But, man, he's as old school as they come. But his knowledge of what should be done and how it should be done and why it'll work, and what, he gets it, man. And I don't care who he's got heat with, whatever. Yeah. But What's his relationship what, like with OVW? They 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 nice to each other? Or is yeah. He, does he come by? A, or? It's a good working relationship. He hasn't made a stop in in a while. He hasn't. You know, but he's always, you know, I'm pretty he's, sure he's always welcome. He's welcome. He's yeah. always that, a welcome yeah. individual. I mean, he's right up there in Louisville. I mean, you think. I, 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 well, he keeps his distance out there at Castle Cornette. Yeah. He, has you know, been, he has ventured out of that castle, though, sometimes. Well, you know, and he's even, if anybody didn't know who Jim Cornette was before, this Queen of the Rings coming out. Right. Yep. Shot there in Louisville, and Jim Cornette's got a big role in that. You know who else got a big role in that? Who? Jared Kripke. Nah. He got a big spot in that. A lot of the OVW guys, a lot of independent wrestlers, got a spot in that movie. So when it does hit, you got to check it out because you know who's. What's it called again? See. Queen of the Ring. Yep. Queen so of the Ring. Okay. Mildred Burke. Mildred Burke story. And uh, I know her. Uh, yeah. 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 It's uh you know she's a, the first uh, money making female wrestler we we're talking yep. about. Yep. Okay. And um, man, just. Golly, the, the way they shot the film and all the people in that, that's, you know, shameless promotion. Guess who else is in that Queen of the Ring, fellas? You are? Old Jebediah Bob. Yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. So, yeah hey, we got to get you and Kripke the air one day. Oh, you Kripke be happy to come and talk to you. Yeah. He's, oh, you talk about talented fellas, man. That Kripke, he's something else. Man. We had him coming down one day, and uh, um, he, he canceled on us, I guess, because he couldn't, he didn't have... Something came up or something. Yeah, we, still, we still got whiskey for him. I had a, I had a whole bottle of whiskey I was going to give him. Like I had a sponsor uh, donate a bottle of whiskey for him, and oh, he yeah. never got the bottle of whiskey. I think we ended up drinking it here. But um, I met I met him up at uh, – Is he still affiliated with OVW? He shows up yeah. every now and then. He he mostly runs out of Indianapolis up that way. Yeah. He's got some home promotions. Staying up home. There, stays busy. He's got that he's baby. Got the, got the girlfriend, got the new baby, yeah. and he kind of stays close to home. He makes a trip down to Louisville every so often. Yeah. Um, but, no, he's got a big old spot in there. That's the trailer. The trailer? Yep. We're at Queen of the Ring. Which is going to be a great movie to watch. Yeah. I recommend good. people to go out and make sure that they tune into it. It's going to be good stuff. Is it WWE production? I thought uh, I'd seen that at the front. Uh, the production on that. Um, wait a minute. I don't, I don't think that's your movie. That's not it, man. Yeah. That's something different. That's not. That's something else. That's a, that yeah, was a, right there. Yeah. This one. Uh, stars Queen of the Ring talk about making the. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of on the. Yeah, it's shot in the very. It's based in the 1940s. Yeah, that's a period piece. She, yeah, she looked familiar to you. Who is she? Yeah. Who is that? That's your big AEW star right there. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, she's um, yeah, man, yep. it, was, it was a great opportunity. Who is she, J- J- Johnny? Who is that? I'm trying to remember. I the can't place. think of her name. She's the one that does the, the old, the the black and white promos. Oh, and, Tony Storm. That's yeah. Tony Storm. Yeah. Oh wow. shit! I did not. Oh, Perfect. I guess you can tell now. I guess I couldn't tell with the black hair. I couldn't, but then there, seeing that picture reminds me of Tony Storm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she, that's uh, awesome. You no, know, Josh in there, and um, oh man, it was star studded. Man, I was all struck on that set, man. Oh, and Rockstar. And they've already got it filmed, and it's ready to. Oh man, so. it's been it's been being edited for about a year now. I did all the film it's festivals. Coming out soon, isn't it's it? twenty six. It 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 hit, it come out of the film festivals on the twenty six. So the release date on it. Is up in the air. Is it going to be in the theaters? I keep, awesome. I keep watching it. I, it's an uncertainty. You just got to stay tuned to find out where it drops. If you know, it's a, how popular the thing is going to be. You know, it did really good at the film festival. Well, wrestling. It's the best time for wrestling movies yeah, to yes come out because wrestling is so That's freaking right. huge right now. But even if it, you know, it, it's a major budget motion picture. So even if it goes straight to Netflix, that ain't no shy day in the park. No, no, That's Netflix right. is I'd where you to, watch stuff. At I'd, anymore. I'd love to see everybody on the big screen. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yes, yeah. I, really I can't just, wait to tune in. To Tyler Posey, Tyler Posey. Yeah, okay, that's it. Yeah, she's a. I think she's Green Arrow. 
Yep. I think that was her. Yeah. Yeah, but she you know, she did a great job. I got a chance to work a little bit with her. Actually, that shot right there. And uh, me and a bunch of the OVW guys. It may have, may have hit the editing room floor, but uh, Doug Basham, Cal uh-huh. Hero, and uh, a lot of us got in there and we bumped for her. Like on a montage. Yeah. So I took three big hip tosses from that little girl. Oh, wow. I'll tell you, she hits like a hammer. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it. She threw oh, me sure. clean across the ring there, boy. I she wasn't holding back, car. right? She wasn't nope. holding back like Hell that. yeah. Yep. But I hope it I hope it made it in. You know, like I said, I know Kripke stuff got in there because he had big part, uh, big part in that movie. So that's kind of a breakout for him. And then, uh, like I said, a lot of you. We need to get him in here before he becomes a big star. You should. You should. As soon as that movie drops, he's he's gonna have to get him an agent, fella, because he's he's gonna make it. He's got that. He's got that peculiar look about him. He's very likable. Very very warm eyes. He took over y'all's faction, didn't he? You and wasn't there a faction you guys had? Oh man, that's a up there. He's in southern discomfort. Southern discomfort. Yeah. yeah. Yep. We, we've had Jeb Dye and Nate Williams now in Southern Studio. Yeah, we've had here twice. Now we got to get Jared. Oh, Snake Man, fella, he's up there running that IPW. Jared's in there. I got Donovan Cecil running that faction, and uh, Ace King. He's a. Oh, you talk about guys on independence that are that are. Uh, you keep your eye on, man. Ace King up there, IPW. Uh, if you get a chance, to look him up. He's a young fella. What uh, about what about cash flow? Like don't what get about me started. like. My That's God! Tulsa like, King right there. Oh man! To, is it Tulsa King Tulsa the movie King. with yep. uh, Don the Johnson, TV right? No, 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 no. Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, yeah. It's a TV show. Yeah, TV show with Sylvester That's Stallone. Right. Tulsa King. He plays a Bigfoot, and I think it started as like a one shot pony, uh-huh. and they loved him so much that they got he's going back. So you know, it's a big opportunity for him. That's a guy's been doing it almost thirty years. Yeah, living, you know, what? He's been like deserves it. Yeah, it deserves anyway. it. And we're we're all trying to do things outside of wrestling. Yeah, you but, should. You know, he's he's found that success there, and I couldn't be happier for that dude. No, if man, he deserved it. If anybody deserves it, he does. I mean, you know, we all know his backstory anyway. He told it on uh, mm-hmm. on on the wrestler, yep. and uh, you know, he's been working at this for years and years and years, and deserves it. This is our one of our. Uh, and that's Chris Crow who you're talking That's Chris about Crow right there. He just kicked his teeth out of his mouth. Yeah. He did. That's when we we do a lot of stuff in the hallway because we don't really have much room right here, so we beat each other up in the hallway. Well, and, and like like Chris Crow says, if he's gonna wrestle, he's gonna throw a show, punch at you. Show him show him show him our uh our yard match. Can you the find yard it? one. Our yard match. Oh, me, like it's not a real, it's only me like It's inside the real stuff, Andy. <laughs> Because you took them and put them inside there. Yeah, I know there's reels, but the full, the full, the full match is. Um... Where's it at? Now, while y'all are while y'all are searching, y'all got a fella. I got a feller I want to mention if I can. Oh, There's mention it whoever you want. A friend of mine uh, grew up with. You know, you when you're growing up and you're a wrestler, you know, your kid you wrestles. And I had this feller, uh, my buddy Devin, who uh, he grew up down the street from me, and that's kind of how I cut my teeth and and learning to love wrestling. You in the front yard doing it with your buddies and your cardboard belts, and you know I know y'all probably still got your belts. I know I got mine, but. Uh, my buddy Devin, his son Wyatt, That's today awesome. was having a major back surgery. He's got the scoliosis. A very special friend of mine, and uh, today was his surgery. He was down there for somewhere around ten hours under the needle, and uh, pulled through that. And uh, it may he may have no so far so good, no complications. But I'd just like to say to that feller, you know, I'm real proud of you for going through what you went through, kid. And, uh, you know, I love your daddy like a brother. And if there's ever anything y'all need from you, let me know, okay? Awesome, yeah. yeah. Thank you, boys. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. What's his you. name again? That's my buddy, uh, Wyatt Wright. Wyatt uh, Wright. Now, I've known him since he's a little kid, so I call him Woody. Woody. And uh, I remember him call, calling him Woody because he showed up on the front doorstep. He was wearing one of them Toy Story gimmicks. And uh, he just looked like Woody standing there. With <laughs> a little kid with a big head and a little body. Yeah. And I was like, man, you look like Woody. So from that day forward, he, he was, was it's known as Woody, and I don't yeah. care who says anything negative about that feller. He's gone through, a, you know, he's a special friend of mine. He's got some got some uh, ailments, and uh, going through that to get his stuff straightened out. And uh, you know, time flies. For this feller's about to graduate from high school. Thank well, get yeah. get better, Woody. We we're all here praying for you, Woody, and uh, you know, uh, just get better, buddy. 
appreciate that's right. that. Appreciate that, fellas. All right, you were going to show us the heated yard bra. This is our yard. Yeah. Bra. We started a little brawl between each other. We had a promoter that was said he wanted to put us in the ring together. <laughs> I thought you was going to give him a wedgie. I should have. I got his, I got his T-shirt on and I'm beating him up. But well, that's all right because I got him back there in the match. <laughs> this is my favorite part of this whole thing. <laughs> he said, the human piano. You beating him like he owes you money. Ooh. <laughs> and this is all filmed while it's raining. My bait part is still when I hit the band. Oh. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the whole video. <laughs> Can I practice uh, slamming my head into it before? Uh oh, here comes the finish. Oh, nice editing. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> that was a real punch right there. Oh, that was stiff. <laughs> Gotta get rid of this. <laughs> Put him in the van. <laughs> Dispose of the body. Yep. <laughs> uh, oh. I think it's pretty good with no. We do pretty good stuff with no budget. Yeah. <laughs> I think old Meltzer would give that five stars. Yeah, yeah. Probably. That, yeah. That's the yeah. match where we beat. Where you I should have seen our real up. match in the ring. We were terrible. Yeah. John, I think Johnny came up with a few. Uh, we choreographed it, but he came up with a bunch of stuff that I wasn't ready for. Hey, and I hey, think he was truly trying to hey, kill first, me. First world wrestling, you may plan it, but sometimes when you're out there inside the ring, <laughs> he was trying to kill me. Guns different. He's like, I'm gonna take this son bitch out. It could be the nice guy Johnny show, and ain't gonna. You know. <laughs> Look at his outfit. He was, but I mean, at least I'm wearing the spandex. I'm wearing the tights, the knee pants, and knee. The elbow sleeve. They announced I believe was trying to pay respect. The, they announced the show. He's like, this is going to be a special match now, guys. We don't usually do this. These are podcast guys. It's kind of like a special Olympics match. I was like, hey, did he really just call us a special match? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jay, was, she walked out with me, yeah. She, she choked me during this match, too. That was our referee. 
<laughs> Everybody was booing him. <laughs> and now, introducing the second in the corner. This is Calamity Jane. Where's she at? Oh. Man, we had, some, folks on. we had some terrible, terrible uh, now, people filming this thing for us. Yeah, what's up? Uh, Pardon me. Hey, he's got elbow pants on. <laughs> 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 and just so we're clear, I have no idea what I'm doing in there. Johnny at, one point, at one point, he tells me, Johnny, I don't know what to do next. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Start, start laying into him because you got to <laughs> continue making it, making it look at least decent. Yeah, this is when he took my gimmick from me. I was super fly, but he took everything from me, so I guess I had to hit him with the double knees just show him who's boss. Yeah, it's a it's the worst match ever in the history of wrestling, I think. I mean we had it they planned, but the finish. I mean it, a lot of people don't understand like even climbing up in the ring, like how much it could tax your body. Like, you know, I started I started exercising and walking like before this match because I'd I'd try to climb up in the ring and I was like out of breath. I was like, Oh my god, I need to I need to lose some weight if I can get in the damn ring. I'm sure you guys, you know, uh, you're so used to it, but like people that aren't used to like getting in the ring or even being in the ring, it's like it's something totally different than anybody can experience. You gotta have that ring cardio. Yeah. Yeah. You can gas real fast too. Is this the whole match? Yeah. This whole match. Yeah. I mean, look how long it is. Yeah. It's 11 minutes and no, 57 we seconds. We don't have to watch the whole thing. <laughs> we gonna bore these guys no, to death. My favorite part is going to be this part where I, where I get choked out in a minute. Show. I'm pretty sure that this is where I get choked. Well, about Calamity Year? Yeah. Yep. There she is. She's such a star. Look at her. Because I, I told her that I want her to choke me on that middle rope. Come to find out, she's a real, she's a redhead, actually. She dyes her hair black like that. She's actually a real redhead. She's got blue eyes. She's fiery. She how'd told you, me that herself. So. How, how'd you figure that out? She told me. I, oh, I didn't I didn't you? get to look, you know. Oh, okay. I, you okay. know. It would have been nice, yeah. but I didn't get to. She just told me. <laughs> wink, wink. Yeah. All right. That's right. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> uh, kicks me right, kicks me right um, as I put my shoe back on. Get the good part. Get to the good part, John. Yes, because that part. Our, our, our match in the. Oh, here we go. Hold huh. up. Oh yeah. Happened to that corner. Our, our match in the uh, after that that's in the yards like, way better you know than this. I'm a better actor than I am wrestler, I guess. And I was really laying those elbows in. Cause yeah, I know. He's trying John's to kill me. Actually, trying to kill me. He was actually trying to no, kill me. No, Andy, I was trying, he to, was be trying snug. to actually kill me, John. No, I was trying to be snug, not hard. You know, I've left in the will. <laughs> I left the, the podcast to my kids, not you. Actually, Andy. They would kind of drop the ball with it. Yeah. So that so you'd be killing it. <laughs> so then after I ch- here's I know you got to keep me around to keep the podcast going, Johnny. You can't just kill me in the fucking podcast in the ring. I wasn't trying to kill you, Andy. Come on. You yeah, I have no it. idea. I have no idea what I'm doing in there. I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, he didn't. I could tell that from how how you were trying to hit me at the beginning of the match. And it, that was a good one. <laughs> the spot with the shoe to the face. I put a shoe in his mouth. <laughs> he took his shoe came off. <laughs> hey, but that was smart because. And the guy talking is Terry England. Yeah. That's the guy that runs UCW Kentucky. He's a pretty good good promoter. Like and right there, I don't know what he's trying to do. I, I was like, "What's this man trying to do?" Because then know. he stops and. I'm like, oh shit, he's forgotten. He's he's lost the plot. I did. So I didn't know right what he was there doing. is when he asked, "What what was so stupid, guys?" So I said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna lay into him." So then I start laying into him with this because he had to make it look at least decent. Because at first we were wrestling, that nothing's gonna go playing. Yeah. And your first match is always gonna be shitty. 
I didn't know. I didn't realize it was so long. Yes, it was long, man. We can look. Here goes the plunger spot. <laughs> and now watch this. Oh. <laughs> I just wish I'd went up top of that. <laughs> I should have ignored what AJ said about not throwing punches and do a punch. <laughs> By that point, I was gassed. <laughs> Look how tardy he was. Yeah. <laughs> God, I didn't realize. Oh, my face. <laughs> he was supposed to do the yeah. he was supposed to do the people's elbow, but he forgot no, what he was doing, I think. I was told to do the splash. Oh. And you were supposed to get your knees up, which you did. And then when you would do that, I didn't know what the, I didn't know what you were doing. Okay, you were choking me while pinning me. Yeah. They've lost, me. they've lost total respect for us now, Johnny. They've seen the, they they're like, damn, like we should have not came, we should have told them no. We didn't you, know they were gonna make us watch oh this. Oh no, you got garbage. A you fellers got a critique coming. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, good, good, because I need to know what I'm supposed to do in there. Wish Dad told a punch. I wish that camera guy had actually. We Top did too much, line. didn't we? We probably we did too much, Johnny. We should have we should have worked the crowd more. Yes, but we were supposed to work the crowd. Begin the match. He hesitated. Why did he hesitate? Who shot the, the ref when he was counting me out? I had no idea. Okay, we need to hear the critique now. Yep. Jebediah is going to put it on mute. Jebediah is going to go at us now, ain't he? I'm going to give you fellas what's called a compliment sandwich. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so critique the, the, learning, critique the yard match and no, then this match, too. It doesn't matter. You, I watched the whole thing. Okay. The key is, was it entertaining? Were you entertained? We were entertained. Yeah. Were you, was I, was <laughs> I don't I, know was if the was crowd I was. With my mouth open the whole time watching. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> was I entertained? Yes. I was entertained. Okay. Did it do what it was supposed to do? Yeah. Yes. I, yeah. Dave Meltzer give it four stars. Yeah. <laughs> plus, you, I, can eat, you know, plus, uh, we did things. That, I love doing cheesy, crappy shit, though. Plus, but also, plus, we got the crowd to get excited. They, that they, puncher they, spot, they, it worked. Yeah, it, it yeah. did what it was supposed to do. You're, you're, you're two guys that were in there wrestling. Yeah, and yeah. you were, you were trying. You know, you were. It was okay well, for our first match. You know, for your first match, it was okay. Yeah. How, who and, trained you? Adrian Alexander. Okay. Yeah. He, he, right. he helped us put it all together. It Did was you? actually the week, the night before. I mean, the week before that match. He's Did like, yeah. "I'm gonna help y'all with truck, uh, with getting it uh, put together." And then we trained it. We trained. The only one that did not understand the assignment, did, though. Did you was get? Our did you get through it and nobody got hurt? Yes. Was it entertaining? Yeah. Yes. Dave Meltzer gave it four and a half stars. Exactly. <laughs> we was down there training, and Johnny, Johnny was in the – I had been starting to walk, and I had been walking like two or three miles a day. It's and, because I drunk water. <laughs> and Johnny was that. in there. He got blown up, drunk water, ended yeah, up the wa the water, throwing up outside like, the like ring. Like they say, do not drink water before – well, after you start training. Uh, Next time, do a boxing match. Yes. Do a boxing match? <laughs> it's a lot easier to work a boxing match. It is. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. We should have probably did that. Yeah, yeah all could've. because we can work it better. Yeah, we he was stiffing the hell out of you. <laughs> I know. Uh, no, he was no, trying to, no, no, no. He was trying to actually I, kill I, I, me. I was being snug. He was, you was being snug. Yeah, he was trying to kill me. Now, if I had, had been bitches be legit on him, I would have thrown a punch. And sometimes see. I don't know if I'm sitting next to him. I don't know if he's just going to like try to kill I me sometimes. I will say, though, though, my one regret for that match is that there's no footage of the double knee that I hit him with. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a positive, congruent feedback kind of feller. I think y'all did great. Thank you the so much. The best thing Thank about that. it is that it's over. Yeah, I yep. know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It did get the crowd to get it excited him. in a lot of parts. Yeah. It was entertaining. Yeah, it was entertaining. That's the whole point of the exercise. Our, our, our second, our next match will be okay. I'm sure somebody will talk us into getting into I mean, another ring. I will say though, still remember we tried. We had a referee that was in, in on what the plan was supposed to be, but we ought to really train more than once next time. Y'all need a better referee. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah, yeah there was got, a referee. That it was. Zebra got you. Yeah, because because think about this. 
He was supposed to wait until this guy. I didn't want to have a ref. I wanted to have a. I wanted to have a no disqualification match. Is what I wanted to use. Yeah, but you know we could do all kinds of stuff. We had to work with what the promoter wanted. Yeah, he wanted us to do a match. He said, "I'll let this spot with the plunger." I don't know how I got talked into that doing that. It worked. worked. (laughs) It worked. Yeah, it worked. Yep. (laughs) And if we ever do 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 another one. Maybe a boxing match would have been better because we could then do the showboating that we had planned to do for the original match. Yeah. Because we were supposed to do a lot of pandering to the crowd, getting the I crowd to pra- him. I needed to practice Bobby about 100 more times probably. And then I'd yeah. been really good. I'd say for your first match, Dave Meltzer gave it four and a half stars. <laughs> Appreciate that. But Dave's drunk most of the time. <laughs> you sure about that? Because he gives uh, the Tokyo Dome seven stars all the time. That's right. That's wow, right. wow. Well, he, you he got like, it, boys. Like, you got it. He'd be yeah. like, this, he like, this match This match didn't happen inside the Tokyo Dome. I'm going to give Jay's you Jay's is not saying two. nothing. Jay's like, mm, eh, yeah. Well, actually, Jay, Jay. What if I got myself into here? Jeopardy Blackheart. What if I got myself into here today? Actually, Jane enjoyed it. Because <laughs> Jane... Got to do what she loved. We really never, uh, we never intended on doing this to end up, end up in the ring. You know, uh-huh. it's just we were asked by a promoter to do it. So, hey, y'all did yeah, great. We did, y'all we did, did great. for the old guys down there. We did it in Tennessee, so we didn't have to get a license. So, but it was a fun show, though. Oh, it was a great show. I loved it. We had, there. and also we know we know those guys guy do a lot of fair. A, those guys do a lot of fair shows, and you know, have it, you just, have you ever worked for Tangent before? No, no. I'm friends with him on Facebook, and I do I do follow what they're doing down there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a couple. There's a couple. They had Hillbilly Jim down there last last year. No, Man, this year. It was this year. It's Cabernet Super. Yeah, Show. it was this year. Uh, they had him down there. We 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 did a couple. Uh, we got a few million. Uh, we we went viral with that one. That, yep. That Hillbilly Jim, him and our dancing with the Terry England, we went viral with that. Like a guy, I think he got two million views on that. Yeah, and you know what? I think that if there ever is a chance we could see old Jebediah in UCW at one point, Buddy, turn they, it up. All they got to do is call me, especially exactly. if I can get old old Jim down there, fella. I know. That'd be cool. Gosh, you and Jim? Man, that'd be the moment of my life. I know, right? Yes, it I would did be. This, I did the uh, Appalachia. I did one of their uh, sign-ins and, and merch tables and things at the, one of their programs, and I got a chance to meet uh, DiBiase. Nice. And uh, he he come by the table, and I was like, hey, you know, he said, hey, how's it? He said, you know, you're trading on Jim's gimmick. And I said, please tell him for me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. tell him. Tell him like, to come after me, please. We need to know. We need to talk about this. And I, you know, I I, just, I got, you know, I've gotten older in it, and I've shown a lot more respect for the people that have come before me. Yeah. And uh, I got him on the Facebook. I follow him because he don't yeah. do the thing. But. Yeah. I sent the message out to him. I yeah. was like, you know, I did without without you. He Bo, still looks like he's in great shape. Oh, he is, man. He is. He, is. he climbed what? up in that ring like with no problem. He got up in there. It was just looked like he was just in great shape still. You know what? For Terry Ingram's good friends with him. He don't come out for anyone but Terry Ingram. So oh, that, that, that that'd be a, be a good thing. You and Jim finally getting to meet each other. And Shoot, I, to do a tag match with Hillbilly Jim. Oh, yeah. high, one of the highlights. Does he? Of my I don't career. think. Does he? He don't do stuff in the ring anymore, does he? Does he? He don't have to. I'll take the heat. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All, you, all, all he has to do is stand all, and like it, all Jim's got to do is take a hot tag every once in a while. <laughs> Actually, I, th- I think what could work is if Jim stays on the apron, and then Jeff Dye finally gets that tag, hot tag in, yep. and then it's. Jim that gets the win. He just hand that horseshoe off to him. He said, clock him with that, fella. Yeah, and right. we'll go home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we ain't got to reinvent the wheel. We Whatever it takes. But yeah. it'd be it, worth it. Also, less is more. It'd be worth the trip to just get a picture with that fella. Yeah. Plus, less is more. It's the best strategy. Uh, well, that's where I'm at. And you can tell by my matches. I don't do anything. Same thing with Jay. I don't, I don't do much. Exactly. No, you, yeah. But that one match with... Yeah, we just watched. You did a lot in that match. Oh, speaking me, of which. Me and Chris is. Yeah. Chris Crow's watching. Hey, Chris, what's up, man? Hey, Chris, we were just showing them you. You guys super see kicking Chris. Party man. He, he, I think he, he said he was going up to OVW soon, didn't he? Chris did. Yeah, yeah. Like, you tell No, him he told us on the podcast. It made much oh, of a secret. Oh, yeah, that's right. There you go. You tell him, grab me, man. I'd, I'd love to see him get a picture with him and, and hope he does really, really good up there. 
Heck yeah, because he's a star. We, we we've been seeing this kid since. Tw- uh, since do we have the? Uh, do we New have the, uh, Sign the front of it, or sign, I guess sign that too. I guess we do got a this a marker. Yeah, we'll display it. Uh, let me see, I have something more ranked up. Yeah, because this one's. I stole that one from my heat. boss today. Plus, if you think about it, OW's got a bonfire star right here. Oh, yeah. This is your next OVW world champion right I here. I think so. And and he's going to have a pocket full of cash. Yes. And I think that Tony. What does $10,000 $10, look like? Is it a, just a stack? It's going to be like this. <laughs> you would think it'd be a big stack. Yeah. But, but it's only like a, about that it big, might, right? It might be inside of a suitcase. $10,000 is a, one stack of hundreds? Really? Nice. That means that not only are you going to be having that OVW that will title. Fit in your, that just fit in your pocket. Yeah, fit in your just pocket there. Yeah. I could pitch you now. What are you Actually, gonna do? No, I take that back. One stack is 5000 so Yeah, two, nah, two, two stacks. stacks. What are you going to do with that, all that money? Go to Vegas. Yeah, go got, to Vegas. There you got to win go. it first, fella. Yeah. But um, I mean, look I at him. It's a freaking right beast. Now. I mean, he's got, he's got just as much uh, uh, shot at it as anybody, I think. Yeah. Plus, yeah. I could see it just now. Jay Nero having the gold over his shoulder and that stack of money inside that sack. Exactly. We know one, we know one person that might not be too happy about that. Tony Evans? Tony Evans. Oh, Tony, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd, but, probably, you'd probably have to share with him, I'd say. But what would you tell him? <laughs> He's like, no, no way. What would you gonna tell him? You're going to have to fight him, him, probably, right? He may be your boss, but what would you tell him? I mean, him if you won... If you won, that would start a fight between match, you and him. The purpose of the match is to win. I'm not exactly gonna, exactly. I'm yeah, hold on. He's every man for themselves. No, I, yeah, Boss definitely, definitely do not hold back. I mean, definitely do not hold back. Plus, I I can see you walking away with the town. Tony Evans showing his snake snake. He'd plays. have to be your. He'd have to be your guy. You know, he'd have to be. Walking. Yeah, he have to carry your bags. Yeah, he'd be the one that had to carry carry everything for you, and be the one that has to do everything for you. I think I, EC3 is the one I'm probably worried about the most. Wouldn't you? Aren't you? Like, I mean, I, you don't look like a very boy. worried guy. He controls but, his narrative. Yeah, but, like, I mean, he's going to be EC3 a, is a big boy, but I've been in the ring with bigger, so. Yeah, yeah. That's he's, true. Yeah, he's he's a big boy. Yeah, he's just. I mean, you survived just, Crixus. He's just jacked and Crix. Yeah, yeah. And he just looks like he's just jacked and. He he just don't. It looks like he's got some kind of like loose screws, to tell you the truth. EC three does. Don't yeah, y'all but, think? But you're forgetting this man's a hitman. Well, I know he's a hitman. What, what, what do you he's, think you know, hitmen do? I mean, he thinks and he does. You know, calculated things. Exactly. He, he can take a guy out, but a guy like EC three just seems like he's got a few screws loose. I so still he just put my money on the hitman because the hitman is going to be I think any out. of us in the wrestling business have right, yeah. screw loose. Exactly. You're, yeah. talking, you're talking, there's a couple things you're not accounting for, Jay. EC3 is the NWA heavyweight champion. He yes. the OVW national champion. And you ain't accounting for what if Doug Basham tries to pay you in nickels. nickels. Oh, man. You ever try to pick up $10,000 worth of nickels? That, no. We're going to have the issues. <laughs> If I were you, I'd make sure first that it's ten thousand dollars in cash that you're looking at. One thing we ain't got to worry about is Doug Bashing getting involved and doing anything dirty to me. If, if anything, oh, is that a clue? EC three's got to worry about it because the bounty's on his head. The bounty ain't on my head. Yeah. That is true. So That's I, true. I Everybody's gonna like be shooting for EC three. I don't have to have my. I don't have my have to have my head on a swivel or my eyes on any of the revolution coming in. And attacking me. And Meanwhile, I can't say anything does. about EC3. Yeah, yeah, but what if he? Never mind. I don't. You're right. You're right. You ain't got to worry about that. You got to worry about them other two jackals, Will Austin, because he he gonna do anything to win. Yep. And Tony, I Evans. beat that boy from pillar to post yeah, Thursday. But you know, he may just come in and pick the bones after EC3's done with you, big boy. And what about uh, Tony Evans? You also have to. Yeah, walk to him. You don't think he'll take advantage of you? You better keep your head on a swivel, Jay. I'm telling you, fella. You in? You might be in over. Yeah, you, you can't trust him because you're my pick. Because <laughs> you're sitting there. <laughs> Since there's nobody else now, here. Now, and I've been, I've here, been so hit by you, and you do hit like a ton of bricks. And I, anybody gonna stand there and let you hit them? They gonna knock them out because you knock me into dirt. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I ain't EC3 neither. Yeah. 
Also, I would keep my eyes on Tony Evans because that guy looks like he stays in the you. that dude. That dude looks like he stays in the gym, like just yeah, hush, big boy, hush. Yeah. But you know, this man <laughs> went up against Crixus. <laughs> this That's man true. fought Crixus and actually tore his bicep. Man, I tell you what, if Jay wasn't capable of doing it, he wouldn't have took the challenge. That's right. I I, I hope I wish you the best of luck in it. You're gonna need all the luck you can handle. And that's Plus, this Saturday, guys. You guys got to go up to Louisville. If you can, get in the arena up there to see this pay-per-view. Get in the ring up there because OBW is packed full of wrestling stars. And you guys, the place up there is so cool. Uh, if you can't um, get up there to Louisville, Check it out on pay per view. Uh, who's who's covering that? Th- is it Thriller? You Triller? get that. You can get everything. All your information at ovwrestling dot com. dot com. That's the Reckoning is the name of the pay per view. Yep. And you catch that. Uh, if you can't can't get in to do it, catch your own pay per view there again. Visit the ovwrestling dot com or ovtix dot com for additional details on how to get your hands on that pay per view. And if you can't get in, because if you don't do it today, it's going to be sold out. I tell you, they sell out every pay-per-view at Hot Point Davis Arena. Hot so Point. Hot Point Davis Arena. That's right. you got to get in there. So if you can't make it, you can't get your ticket, and you still want to watch it on pay-per-view, but you want to catch OVW live, you can catch Halloween Hell Night, October the 31st at Davis Arena, and that's the uh, weekly television program. That's tomorrow that's right. night, guys. Get up there. Get up to Hot Point Davis Arena. Uh, you never know who's going to show up up there. Mick Show Foley shows up there all the time, guys. Um, uh, who else have y'all had up there? Uh, Mick Foley. Uh, we had uh, Big Show was up there. Big Show was up there recently. Um, Enzo. Enzo's yeah, up there. Yeah. Uh, uh, the 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 who's Mickey James is up there sometimes, right? Or yeah. she? Mickey James has been around up there. Yeah. Uh, you never know who you're gonna see at OBW. Al Snow, Doug Basham, uh, uh, you know uh, Al Snow, Jebediah Black Blackhawk. You can catch me, but you don't catch old Jebediah Blackhawk uh, after the show. After you, know, I know that's most right. of the time I'm I'm working working production. But if you you hang around till afterwards, I'll come out and sign an autograph for you. Heck yeah, Heck exactly. Yeah. And they will see Jay, Jay De Niro's well. up there beating ass, taking names. He can't write co- his name. Co- collecting money. You can't write his name. I don't think he can. <laughs> I hope they don't pay you in check, fella, because you ain't going to be able to sign the back of it. That would be. Scribble. That would be the strangest thing for Doug to say, hey, I'll pay you in 2000 cash, and then you hand it to your check. He's like, check. No, don't take a check. Can't, can't, can't write his name. Yeah, all the plus, way you to the have bank. to pay. Ta- take a check. You have to take it to the bank. You end up having to pay yeah. taxes on it. And then, I then mean, it come on. 10, right? I, don't, I wouldn't trust Doug Basham as far as I can throw him after all he's pulled off. We know we used to be friends. You know, he's like my second match was against Doug Basham. Really? Yep. Known him my whole life, fella. And, and what he's pulling up there with the revolution at OVW, I wouldn't trust him. I wouldn't trust him to referee a Little League softball game, I tell you. No, I wouldn't either because there's no telling what's going through his mind. He's probably thinking, maybe I can get rid of all these OVW guys and bring in my own squad. Yeah, he's built one heck of a faction in the revolution. They're hard to beat. They're hard to beat. But, but there's a lot of fellas. getting there. one of those members got his bicep torn by this man right here. That's right. That's they right. went to war. So if anyone can win that title, I put my money on Tony, um, Jay De Niro. You almost because said Tony Evans. <laughs> <laughs> he did say Tony Evans. Yeah, he did. He <laughs> did. Yeah. It's because Tony Evans is on my mind that you got to – Watch out! Watch out for him as well. Well, any way you look at it, fellas, it's going to be one barn burner. So, what match. what's your relationship like with Tony? Y'all y'all friends? Just a working relationship, or uh, just, just working relationship? Working relationship. The money, he, mm-hmm. you know. So he paid you. He pays me a well lot. Do whatever he, I need to do to make sure he gets wins. Yeah. Well, if you really think about it, Jeb and I, you've been around this whole time I've been up here. Tony Evans is no slouch. He's won multiple championships. But if you really think about it, the only championships he's ever won were because of me. Hey, and I you're was right. nowhere to be found when he lost them. Oh, man. Yeah, mm. that, true. That's why I say I think Tony Evans better be ready because in that match, there's no friends. There's no partnerships. Nope. Because you're going for that towel. You're going for that cash. It's going to be a banger. Yeah. It's yes, it be is. A banger. Yeah. 
It's the main event for a reason. The main event, guys. Main event. We got one of the guys in the main event right here in the studio. I don't know how we pulled it off, but we got you up here. OVW is growing so fast. It's getting big, big, big. Guys, you cannot miss this pay-per-view. Check it out. Check out uh, if you if you haven't um, – you don't know what's going on with OVW, go back to their YouTube channel, yep. OVW YouTube channel, and uh, check out the uh, the last few episodes of it. Uh, it. It's a good watch. These guys put on way they put on very professional, great wrestling, and uh, check it check it out. OVW is That's the place right. to be, and they got uh, you know Cash Flow, which is uh, you know on the um, what is the what's the show name. Tulsa King. Tulsa King with Sylvester Stallone. I mean, he's, he's Bigfoot. Oh, my God. I mean, th- th- these guys are just blowing up stars down there. You got Jebediah Blackheart, Blackhawk in a damn few movies up there. In, like, you got a movie coming out. You got a movie that you just gave us a DVD to. And, Jay, how long? And you're going to be in the uh, the new movie uh, Queen of the Ring, right? Mm-hmm. I've been there. Oh my God! Just, just these guys are just blowing up up here. Plus on OBW on OBW TV on YouTube, you can catch all the recaps. You can watch all these because look, we we got them all here. We've even got the number of episodes that they got going as well. And Jay, when do you think we'll see you inside a movie? Well, you know that that's that's the next thing on my list. It's just a matter of right place, right time. Yeah, I haven't hit it yet. Done some extra work when I lived out in Vegas, but nothing big time yet. But it's coming. Yeah. Heck yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And look at that. There's one of your goals, Hell Night. And you can find all this on OBW TV on YouTube. That's right. Make sure to That's type That's the thing in. On, that, on that YouTube channel, too. The OVW Rise is our Thursday live show. On Tuesdays at 7 o'clock, we have Overdrive. Overdrive. Nice. Hey, we were actually there for Icon Lee's first match in OBW. And it was a hell of a match. I tell you what. Icon Lee impressed us that night, even more so than he ever impressed us. You, know, you talk about the revolution. There's only one title they don't have. That's the one they he's have. The didn't? Rush Division title. That's there with Star Rider. Mm-hmm. Tony Gunn got the the Country Boy Media title. Mm-hmm. You got uh, Big Mount Kadeem has the heavyweight title. He does J Rod has the women's title? Mm-hmm. And his boys just lost the tag titles. That's right. Yep. Y'all do have Country Boy as a sponsor too, don't you? Oh, they we. we I love one. their. What beer. else is y'all sponsors up there? Country Boy, they got great beer. Oh my God! Every time y'all come down here to uh, Georgetown and y'all go over to the and wrestle over at George uh, at the Country Boy Brewery over there, we'd love to get over there. We're back there in December, I believe we're out back there, there in December. Back in December, oh. yeah, nice. Uh, Twelfth, I think. Please. the weekend the twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, uh, somewhere in those. Let's lines. Johnny. Let's try to make it's that. Friday. Yes, we it's do. a Friday show. We try to make that show. I like that beer. I love. We love going over there. That 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 place is awesome. That y'all y'all come over there and wrestle. Yep. That's great. They're, they're, it's good having uh, when we go see them out there, man. They're just so welcoming, and uh-huh. it's a great venue. And the know, beer is uh, great. Oh the, golly, I'm man. not a big drinker actually at all. Um, but uh, the the beer is be, the the beer is incredible. I think it, uh, I like that cougar bait. Oh yeah, yeah. ain't that great? Yeah, I had something over there one time. I think it was some kind of. Specialty beer that they had. Um, I got over there to the uh, OVW show, and uh, this one actually right here, I, I couldn't yep. get in because they had sold the tickets out. And then I actually ended up uh, sneaking in somehow. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, I got in. But uh, after some people left, I ended up getting in. But uh, I don't know what all the sponsors we have, but we also have sponsor packages too. Okay, yeah, y'all do, yeah, um, guys. If you guys want, if you got a business out there and you want to sponsor a show or have a show at, if you have a venue somewhere to have a show, you have a brewery and you guys want these guys to come and throw a show, get in, get in, get in contact with OVW. Uh, I'm sure uh, uh, reaching out to at least one of their wrestlers or OVW themselves, I'm sure we can figure out something. You can go to ov ovwrestling dot com and it'll have a comment or connect uh, contact us and you just get a hold of. Uh, Someone there that deals with all the sponsorships, but it's a good way to get your name out there. OVW is exactly. a, a, a pillar in, in Louisville. It's been around forever, and when you say OVW, people think about that er, 20, late 20. Ni- late ni- 1990s oh, and I know, 2000s right? with you had John everybody. Cena's and all, Batista. Westler, Batista, all those guys. Hey, you've been around 20-odd years. 
uh, yep. so much to the point um, state of Kentucky, there's an OVW day in the state of Kentucky. Really? Which day is that? You know? Went yeah. down to Frankfurt. I believe that's in February. February. Went down to uh, down to Frankfurt last year for that. Stood on the floor. Cash flow accepted the honor for the company. And uh, that's an OVW day in the state of Kentucky. So that's incredible. That's uh, not a lot of independent wrestling promotions can boast the things OVW's accomplished, and it's only getting bigger for us. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. It's bigger. growing like crazy. Going like crazy. Look at that exactly. video, man. Who who else is doing it inside of a brewery? I know, right? Exactly. And they as do it a powerful building. When the weather's right, they do it outside uh -huh. and draw twice as many because yep. they don't have to see. This is me the inside door. there. I was uh, trying to. I was looking through the window <laughs> trying to see some wrestling. You know, <laughs> when we were up there in Pikeville for that uh, for that pay per view, it was the first time OVW did a pay per view outside of Louisville. Yeah, and if I'm correct. We drew more people than TNA or AEW did at that same arena. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. They love like Pikeville down there. They love they love it. Be entertained down there. They love wrestling down there. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's when I, I got me a shirt down there at uh, Country you Boy. Got, that good you got beer. me a good beer there. I don't know what kind that was, but it was so it was. It, it's such a good beer that I can remember it from like two years ago. That's how good a beer that was. I mean, you know, I'm like wanting one right now. But uh, they have a great place down there and great food down there. Oh, you got to get the steak sandwich. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, man, the steak Ooh, sandwich. The nachos were Guys, good. down in Georgetown, if you were around here, go down to Georgetown and Country Boy yeah. Brewery down there. Go, go get you some That's food. That's my favorite right there. Yeah. Haley J. Hollywood. I think I made it in somehow. Oh, you did. You snuck in. Yeah, I snuck you in. You finally told them who you was. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tom, I'm not scared any podcast. Not scared any podcast host. Let me in. Well, you ain't getting We up. do get into everything free. We get into AEW for when they come to town for free. WWE, they, they, they send us tickets. Like, yeah, we get in free these places. And look look at the hairstyle that you were sporting that day. I know, right? Rocking it out. I was rocking it rocking out. Rocking it out. That was the Silverhawk, as AJ Kazana coined it. Guys, we've been on here almost two hours now. That time flies when you're it, talking with good people. Yep. It does. We have a it good does. time here. Uh, you know, everybody says, oh, well, two hours. I don't know if I can do two hours, but then. You, you look up and the two hours is gone, and you're like, "Yeah." And, a, and it's it's like it. We've had a great time. Fast. He didn't even realize it. Around this time of the the podcast, I let everybody say their closing uh, statements. Uh, who wants to go first? You want to go first, Jay? Sure. First and foremost, if you have not been to the Hot Point Davis Arena, come on out on any Thursday live show. Doors open right around six o'clock. They'll have some wrestling going on before the uh, live event starts at 7 o'clock. Check ovwrestling.com OV for any pay-per-views. By all means, get try to get your tickets on ovwrestling.com because you never know when we sell out. We've been doing sellouts even on our Thursday shows since Netflix. Dropped. So it's not OVW. It's OV Wrestling. OV wrestling, yes, OV wrestling yes, yes. com. And if you get a chance to come do a podcast with these gentlemen, it was oh, a yes. pleasure. Thank you so much. That. Thank you for coming. Uh, you want to shout any of your social medias or anything like that? Yeah, Jay De Niro on Facebook, and it's also uh, Jay De Niro on Instagram. Okay. Are you on X? No. No. Johnny, you want to go? Yeah, I'll go. I just want to thank everyone that's been commenting. DJ Easy, we know all about you. From Indiana, and also you've been going to OBW. That man has a wealth of OBW knowledge. Like he could tell you. Who's that? DJ Easy. Oh, DJ Easy. Eric Montgomery. Yeah. That man can tell you anything about OBW from what time period to the next. He lives up there in Louisville, I think. Mm -hmm. Jay Nero, thank you for giving us a moment of your time. Give Dad Blackhawk, always a pleasure to have you, brother. Thank you, friend. It's good for having Thank you so much for having me. And, fella, it was good sitting down with you for the first time. I know, right? I, to meet with you. I you. Did, you know, breaking bread with you, you uh, you married, fella. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a married man, too. Yeah. You ever tell you how I met my wife? Uh, I, no, I don't think you have. Well, I was driving that two lane down from Louisville to Pikeville. Yep. And I looked over. I seen this a good looking blonde carrying this car door down the side of the road. Well, I pulled up behind her because I thought she might be dangerous, and I wandered up and said, "Ma'am," I said, uh, "If you can put that car door in the back of the truck, I'll take you anywhere you want to go." She said, "Sir, I do not talk to strangers." I said, well, honey, I, I, honestly, you got a cell phone. You can call a friend. You can put your car door in the back of the truck. I'll take you anywhere you want to go. She said, sir, I do not talk to strangers. So I followed her a little bit more. 
from behind because I thought she looked a little dangerous. And I asked her one more time. She said, I done told you once, boy, I don't talk to strangers. I said, well, honey, I got to know, why are you carrying that car door down the side of the highway? She said, in case I get hot, I can roll the window down. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. And that's how he met his wife. <laughs> nah, she sounds like a wonderful woman. She is. Ms. Blackhawk, I owe everything to her. She's so supportive in everything that I do. And I love her kindly. And if y'all want to catch anything from Jebediah Blackhawk, it's my name on just about every social handle except for only friends. I ain't got one of those. No. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Not yet. Okay. That's right. <laughs> guys, uh, go out. If you guys up. love the podcast, go over to YouTube and subscribe, please. We're looking for subscribers. We're up to about 2,000 now. And uh, we're growing um, even further. Go over to uh, Facebook. Uh, go over there. Follow. Uh, comment. Uh, um, comment on the comments, uh, like, share, and comment on everything over there. Um, Facebook does play us, so anything that you do over there, uh, Facebook, uh, it, we're monetized on Facebook. They they pay us the most. They help uh, help the podcast uh, do what we do. Um, and if there's any feedback, if you guys just go up to OVW there and uh, check check out OVW, check out your local wrestlers. Uh, tomorrow, um, up there, they're having a big show up there tomorrow and Saturday they're having the big pay-per-view where, uh, Jay, uh, um, De Niro is going to be, <laughs> uh, in the pay-per-view, uh, in the main event, uh, match there, the four-way match there. So guys, uh, if you're not having fun, you're not getting none. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Damn, skip it. You nice eat. guy. Andy Podcast. Goldface Records Radio. That ain't what your mama said. He keeps popping off at the mouth. I'm gonna be his daddy. Ooh, yeah! So those were expensive shoes. You know, that guy's diamond is custom made. This is a Zodiac. And I'm telling you now, meditate, elevate, and dominate. Do it with the nice guy, Andy Punk. This is a Zodiac. And I'm telling you now, meditate. Watch the nice guy in the podcast. Anyways, you guys go on your little rinky-dink bullshit podcast.